Hey there, everybody. How is it going? Good afternoon. It's me, Tim Dodd, the Everyday Astronaut. And guess what? We are going to try and build a Buran space shuttle, which was the Soviet Union's version of the space shuttle. Uh, it flew once without people on it, which is actually really impressive. And it was very different, yet exactly the same, yet very different from the United States' space shuttle. I'm going to show you what this is real quick. We'll start with this. Look at that thing. Hey, isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> I think it's so cool. This really is incredible. So this orbiter, the 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 shuttle part of it, what we think of the shuttle, the orbiter portion, uh, didn't have any main engines, which is very different from the actual space shuttle that the United States had. But this was the Soviet Union, uh, if, uh, Union space shuttle. It flew once in 1988, I think. Uh, and unfortunately, uh, yeah, it only flew once. The Energia rocket that it strapped onto flew another time, too. That, too, got scrapped, which is really sad because it's actually the third most powerful rocket ever produced. Um, it's actually more powerful than the Falcon Heavy. So it was crazy cool. So we're going to try and build this in Kerbal Space Program. And here's the cool thing. Let me know if this, uh, <laughs> if this makes sense. But the boosters, at some point, I think they were actually supposed to land with parachutes. But there's also uh, rumors, I couldn't quite find anything solid on this, that it was supposed to try to land using thrusters. So we're going to try to just land without parachutes. Uh, at least one of these boosters, try to re return one. Just for fun, because why not? So let's go ahead and pop on over into Kerbal Space Program. And of course, actually, I think the first thing I'm going to do to make this easy, I might try to design the side boosters first so yeah uh <laughs> and then that way i can uh take it take those side boosters and we can mount them to oh that's the geez great start already good job me is this a small one i always forget they look too similar yeah that's a small one um so we're gonna build one of those side boosters real quick and then once we have it built we'll we'll use that as a sub assembly part and put that onto the whole thing. You'll see. It'll make sense, I hope. And also, I want to be able to fly this thing horizontally. Uh, like, make it hover. You'll see. It's going to be really weird. Um, yeah. Howdy, everybody. Cammy. Thank you already. <laughs> Jeez. Hi, Cammy. Uh, good to see you. Thank you. Um, yeah. How is everyone doing today? It is really, really, really cold. I'm, like, actually frozen to the core here. Uh, in Iowa, I don't. I hope you guys are doing better wherever you are. I, I saw some people from Candanana, uh, as I call Canada, Canadianada, Canadian Deanda. All right. Well, let's go ahead and just crank this baby out. Um, that's gonna be interesting. And yeah. So first, I'm building the side boosters, just so you guys all know. Hi, guys. Oh, I'm glad to know I'm not the only one that's really, really awkwardly cold because it is full-blown miserable here. All right, and since we're going to use these as our side cores, actually, maybe we should go up a notch. I think we're going to go up a notch because otherwise this is going to look really small and silly. Well, hang on, because here's the thing. I'm going to be using this tank for the main tank. Uh, That's going to be about right, I think, as far as proportions. Let's see. It's kind of in between those two almost. I feel like the side boosters are, you know, I don't know, I'm making something up, but like three meters wide and the big tank's like five meters wide or something. No, probably bigger than that. Seven meters wide and five. I don't know. Looks bigger than this though. What? I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I? I'm afraid the next step up is just a little bit bigger. Uh, do I do YouTube full time? Asks someone in YouTube. I missed the name already. I apologize. Ish. Uh, I do more than just YouTube. Uh, I do public speaking at uh, schools and stuff like that now. But this is officially the first year of me doing full time everyday astronaut. So I don't know exactly what all that means. I don't know. Doing stuff uh, on the places where I do them. So, yeah, uh, kind of YouTube and kind of some other things and kind of some upcoming things. Yeah, I don't know. Which do I like better, Buran or Space Shuttle? Don't make me, you can't make me choose. You can't do that to me. I can't do that to you. I would never have the audacity to ask someone that question. 
uh, all joking aside, uh, you know, I would have really liked to see Buran fly more than once, just to know really in the long run how capable it was and all that stuff. So, hey, thanks, Deadly Monkey. Congrats on about a year. I don't quite know what about a year means, but... Um, do I ever plan to go meet Elon Musk? I have talked to him at, diff at different... Uh, what are those things called? Press events. Uh, as a credentialed media of the press. Uh, yeah, you, you know, you end up talking to the people that you're talking to. But I've still yet to just, like, shake his hand and, you know, be introduced formally. I've spoken at SpaceX, though. Um, but I just haven't, you know, have yet to actually... I've yet to actually, like, meet him. So, maybe someday. Maybe that'll be this year. Oh, great. I need to... Hang on. Rotate this whole thing. Wah. Wait. Yeah. Yeah, that was right. So, check out what I'm going to do. This is going to be really weird. Uh, what? Hey. What? Uh, what? <laughs> I need an adult. Is he going to keep doing it this way? Yeah. I, hmm? Don't. Okay, well, looks like we're going to be mixing things up here. Going freestyle mode here. You'll see what I'm doing. We're going to make it so that the... Uh, what? Uh, it's been a while since... <clears throat> Jeez. It's been a while, A, since I've almost died... Like that, and B, since I've played Kerbal Space Program. So you guys are going to have to bear with me a little bit. Going rookie designs here. But here's what we're going to do. I'm just going to work on the side booster thing first. Um, is it true he's really, is that Elon Musk is really big and burly in person? I don't know about burly. Um, I think he's, here's the thing. I don't think he's actually that tall. He's probably about my height, around six feet. But there's something about the man when he's in the room that he just fills the entire room and it's just terrifying. So, yeah, I, I'd say that he is no taller than a jack-o'-lantern, but much taller than Steve. I don't know what I'm saying. And I think there's a new option to control from here. Is that... Oh. Oh, it's haven't even played Kerbal since they allowed that. That's huge. Hey, Emilio. Hi from Mexico. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Okay, so here's what we're going to do first. Just to see if this thing even works. Um, we're going to do this. Uh, I'm just going to call this Buran Side Booster. This is going to be a really rough testing phase. Uh, we're going to do some of these guys too. Ooh, that's going to look ugly, huh? Nothing like ugly, <laughs> ugly for Duglies. I need to stop talking. Or talk ten times more. Hey guys, how are the audio levels? Is everything okay? As far as music levels? As far as all that stuff? Philip, thank you! Yeah, Happy New Year, everyone. This is the first live stream of the new year for me. So thank you, Philip, and, and Happy New Year from everybody. Um, we will be setting that uh, to the root part. You're correct once we get there. So yeah. Um, also, bye-bye Elon Kerman in our Discord channel. Thanks for being in there for a minute. Alright, audio is good. What PC do I have? Uh-oh, here comes the here comes the thing that always happens when I talk about the fact that I don't own a PC and I'm using a Macintosh and then everyone craps their pants and then I look like a fool and then... <sighs> yep. Okay, so the controls are in... Wait. Wow, this thing already is fantastic. I just want to fly this around all day. I really am not a big fan of those ugly landing gears sticking out like that, so maybe I'll clip those in a little bit. <laughs> Everyone craps their pants. <laughs> Every time. Without fail. 
Well, I mean, guys, I love when people are, like, confused that a Macintosh can do things. It's just an Intel processor with, like, 32 gigs of RAM you can buy off the shelf. The only thing is it's running on a different operating system. The hardware is, you know, just the same as anything else. Oh, wow. Oh, look at this. Cool. Cool moves, Burian. I remember my first launch. Huh? Oh, cool. Flying hot dog here. So what we're going to be working on here, I don't know why I'm doing this. Oh yeah, I know why I'm doing this. I remember exactly why I'm doing this. I don't have any control surfaces. This will be very interesting. But now we're going to try to... <laughs> this is going to be awful without control surfaces. Just the flimsy gimbals here. Flimsy gimbly goo. Okay, I need to add some RCS to this thing because this is going to be an actual nightmare. Uh, yeah, I have no control over this. <laughs> Regardless, I'm having a great time. <laughs> okay, yep, that ended about as well as I expected <laughs> for the first run. Hey, we're just getting, you know, we're just getting started here. It, If it worked out the first time, how boring would that be? So let's do this. Let's get some some big old Werner engines. I don't even know how to... I You guys will find out, if you haven't been with me very long, that I am just awful at pronouncing things. Like, really, really, really bad. As a matter of fact, our in our Discord channel, uh, I let the, the people, my Patreon members that are Discord people, they get to see my videos beforehand. And I, so far, I don't think we've really had any major corrections in pronunciations. But boy, do I have to talk... I had to like ask him, guys, how the heck do you pronounce this uh, quite often? Because seriously, it's it's impressively bad. All right, Vernier, see John Ellis, uh, uh, one of our Patreon members. <laughs> Vernier, it's probably Venya or something like crazy, and I don't know how to pronounce it. So instead of wasting all of our time uh, trying to get to almost fuel cut off, we're just gonna do this. And also, I already hate how the legs look, so we're just gonna clip those in. And I know you guys need these sound effects, that makes it much better. Yep, and cool. Uh, maybe we need to go in one more. This is gonna be so dumb. All right, let's do it again. John Ellis, what was your bet again? I forgot your bet. Still haven't won your bet. Remind me of that. All right. Three, two, one, hey, bip. Oh, takes off like a cheetah. I could have emptied out a lot more fuel. I forgot that we're gonna have to be flying this for quite a while now. Yeah, remind us about the bet, and if I miss it, repeat it, because I might miss it. I'm going to go ahead and turn on those Vernier thrusters. <laughs> Vernier. Vernier. Veneers. Uh-oh. Nope, nope, nope. Not this cabbage again. Hey, maybe we'll just try and do... I don't know. We'll try to go back to the launch site now. That's what we're, This was all on purpose. Uh... <laughs> Very far into the stream for not having a shout out to Ollie Braun. You're right, this is unusual. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Ollie is the one that makes the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy models. We also have collaborated on uh, the last Falcon Heavy video, I, or not the last, but the Falcon Heavy video I did recently. I'm nervous that we're not actually controlling from here, are we? You'd think it would want to rotate betterer than that, but it's really not wanting to. Hmm. Okay, I've got an idea. Uh, oh yeah. Anyway, yeah. Ollie Braun, great guy. We're also working on a new video, for those of you that don't know. I don't even know if our Patreon members know that. Uh, hey, yeah, Patreon guys, guess what? Ollie and I are doing uh, another collaboration about the size and scale of rockets. It's gonna be beautiful. We're gonna use Ollie's 3D skills to put rockets in cool places around the world, but mostly like everyday places. 
Yeah, you're right, Johnny. And we probably could have been putting the fuel flow uh, priority out here. We'll make it so. Where do I have the center of mass right now? Yeah, I'm getting a little willy-nilly with this. Normally, I do this kind of stuff. Um, and I am too lazy. Well, I guess right now we can do this. Okay, so yeah, we definitely are going to want this tank to go last so that the fuel is not crazy. And this one. See, this is why we do that. And then our thrust to weight ratio is still way too high. Oopsies. Uh, huh? Uh huh? Okay. <laughs> So we're going to have to add a lot more of these guys to get the thrust to weight ratio to match. Okay. Not building Falcon Heavy. I've done a few Falcon Heavies. Uh, hey, Paul. Wait, was it Paul or John? Whoever said they have a bet, throw it up in our in our... Discord channel so I can actually see it. Otherwise, I'll probably keep missing whatever the bet was. All right, look at that. That's gonna be pretty good. Let's just start with the hover test of it. Ooh, what happens when this baby goes like that? Just gonna keep slipping that away. All right, let's give this little a little testeroo here. Maybe it was John Ellis that mentioned it, but I don't see it. Did you do it? Oh, down here. No. Do it in our streamy place. Make sure you're in our streamy place. Okay. Here we go. Let's get this landing gear out right away. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I'm already... Very excited. Okay, turning off those back engines. Let's see if this thing can hover. Oh yeah. Now, a real pro would try to land this thing on the VAB right away. And lucky for you guys, I'm your guy for that job. Uh, this thing's fairly uncontrollable. That's the bad news. So, for now, we're just going to see if we can land it at all. Ooh. I mean, worse things have happened. Here's what we're going to do, though. We're going to go ahead and immediately add... Um, we're going to immediately add a few more of the whatever thrusters you guys, however you pronounce them. You know, vernier. <laughs> I am just the worst and move these just because I think I need more roll authority and this isn't quite offering me the amount of roll authority that I need to survive that's right all right so we're gonna do this there we go look at that it's already better and just to make sure the good thing about RCS and having um, RCS, for those of you that don't know, is reaction control systems. Uh, and also there's kind of a, a built-in computer thing called SAS, which in Kerbal Space Program allows it to kind of keep itself level. So if we have enough of these RCS thrusters, um, then it'll be easier for the computer to be able to keep it controlled, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna kind of double them up here so that the computer can have a decent amount of control. Okay, and then check this out. We're gonna do this, you'll see why. <laughs> BFR SLS guys, come on. Come on. Is that even is that even a question? I mean, is that uh, I love SLS. I want it to fly. But man oh man, do I think that's very 20th century, and we are in the 21st century here, ladies and gentlemen. All right, hey, let's go. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I think you can see what we're looking at maybe doing here. 
Um, I like the, the little rocking motion this thing has developed. It's fun. It means it's antsy and it's ready to go. So here we go. We're going to lift off a little bit with the music. All right. Here we go. We're going to start lifting off. Oh, yeah. Oh, con controls are inverted-ish, which is nerve-wracking. Okay, so... More that way. I'm gonna run out of fuel here before we get to this point. Oh man. This is terrifying. We're flying a booster. We are flying a booster. Oh, oh, oh. We are crashing a booster. <laughs> okay, here's we're gonna do two things. Number one is we are gonna fill the center-ish tank up a little bit more, so we have double the fuel. This might be harder than I thought. Okay, and then second of all, I'm nervous that eventually what happens is the tail here gets so stinking heavy. There. Go for parachutes. <laughs> parachutes. <laughs> what? What are parachutes, guys? Oh, man. I like that. I like your innocence. Young Padawan. So innocent. All right. Let's try this thing again. Here we go. Three, two, one, hip, hip. Oh, yes. Oh, I am liking the veracity of this thing. Oh, yeah. Look at this. <laughs> this was the old, the old Russian test of, can our booster fly and then land on top of our most expensive building? Everyone knows about that. Oh, God. Apparently. Okay, canceled out the velocity-ish. Oh, man. I am very much overdoing this, as I tend to do in just about most things in life. Okay. Downwards, ego. I'm going to keep it here because we still need to actually go a little bit forward in order to make this work. Man, come on, Soviet Union. You could have easily done this. That's a bit of a joke, guys, but... Regardless, I think this is possible if I don't screw it up here in the last seconds. Oh, God. Which I... I'm landing on the steps! A stair landing! Well... It's, uh, <laughs> well, uh, I don't think that counts as landing, per se. Yeah, uh... Well... There we go. We're not gonna use Mech Jeb for a suicide burn. No, what's the fun in that? We just want to do this ourselves. Um, somebody asked Apollo or SpaceX? Apollo program or MB4050? Apollo program or SpaceX? Totally different things. Uh, up till this point, the obviously the Apollo program is the greatest achievement of humankind by a... By, it's insane! It's the... It's the, the best! I mean, you can't... I don't think it's fair to compare anything to the Apollo program. And we did it through sheer brute force. Um, that being said, I think we're coming up on a new Apollo era. And currently, at this exact moment, SpaceX is the, uh, the leader in that, in my opinion. In my humble opinion. Yeah. Okay, so... So let's go ahead and tip this thing up on its side. 
And by side, I mean tip it up like it's going to be flying. <laughs> Let's try every orientation except for the right one. Okay. What are my thoughts on the Falcon Heavy? Well, I have a video all about it. Make sure and check that out. Um, yeah, I obviously think it's going to be incredible. Ooh, that's bugging me. I just realized I have a lens cap off of one of my nice cameras, and it's just sitting there with getting dust all over it. <sighs> what would my mom think? Yeah, Falcon Heavy's awesome! What are you guys talking about? Come on, yes! Yes, Falcon Heavy's great! I'm so excited! No, I'm so excited! Um, alright, well, let's try this again. Three, two, one, hip hip! What is going on? What? Right, I turned off the thrust. We're gonna do this in the scariest way possible by throttling up individually each engine and somehow surviving. Interesting. Interesting choice I made there. Yes. But we survived and we are going vertical, which is, um, I think that's a good thing. In this case, yes. We are making a lot of stress on the fuselage at this point. Okay, we're going to do fuel cutoff here. Let's go ahead and switch engines. Now, here's the hard part. Can we actually keep this stupid thing oriented correctly? So, obviously, right now, guys, the vehicle flipped up this way because the heaviest end wants to go first. So, the center of mass, which is uh, all four of these engines, uh, they want to go first. So, we're going to have a hard... We might have a hard time keeping it oriented. I'm actually just going to do this. I'm going to pin this to radial out. Look at that! Now, if we can just keep itself oriented, we might be able to land this thing. Um, we only have 250, oh wow. We are low on fuel. But this is interesting, is it not? <laughs> Uh, do I have any non-money bets with people over the outcome of the Falcon Heavy inaugural flight from Wookie Goldberg? <laughs> Great name, first of all. Um, I don't have any money or non-money bets about Falcon Heavy yet. It's an interesting idea. Um, oh yeah, we're going to run out of fuel way too early here. I got a little ambitious with our thing. Yeah, here we go. Buy fuel. Okay, let's just let's revert to let's revert to the vehicle assembly building, and actually make it so those engines uh, do their thing. You know what's that called? Oh yeah, have thrust. That, boom. Wait, what was that thing? Somebody asked a question. And I think it was a good one. Oh yeah, money bets or non-money bets? No, I don't. I don't. I don't have anything. We could maybe start something. I'm definitely gonna do a poll on Twitter. If you guys aren't following me on Twitter, what? Actually, it, for the I, I feel like I need to just explain real quick. I think I have a lot of new people in here. Uh, I didn't. This YouTube thing is. I literally started doing this really in about March of last year. It was the March or February it was the first time I started like making actual videos on YouTube and not just farting around on it. Basically, before that, I was all Instagram, which is nothing at all like any of this. But that's where. Everyday Astronaut started, it was an art project originally, um, and turned more and more, Went started off with kind of art, went more and more communication, then became just my life. Three, two, one, go. I don't know why, just hip hip. Sorry. Yeah, um, but now here we are. Now here we are enjoying YouTube, working on some really fun and exciting things for 2018. I promise they'll be very exciting, and I hope you guys enjoy um, what's gonna happen? It's gonna be fun. All right, so what am I doing now? We are still just testing whether or not we can use this. Will be the side booster of one of these guys, the Buran Soviet Union's Buran space shuttle. Just thought I'd show you that while we're coasting. Um, yeah. Hello from Slovakia. I have been to Slovakia. I loved it. I went to Bled. How I feel like that's like probably the the like version of like, I went to Times Square. I'm sure Bled Slovenia. Oh wait, that's, oh my gosh. I just mixed, I'm, I did it. I did the thing that people hate, mixing up Slovenia and Slovakia. I deeply apologize. Dang it. 
That's worse than, I'm from Iowa. Everyone thinks Ohio and Iowa and Idaho are the same thing. And I just did it with Slovenia and Slovakia. <sighs> Someday. Someday, Tim. All right, we, I'm looking at our suicide burn distance calculator here. We're gonna start our suicide burn right about here at 100 meters and throttle way down. Throttling back up. Oh, this is easy. I remember my first time landing a side booster on its side like a booster. Uh-oh, this is bad though, this is bad. Get control of yourself. I may have spoken too soon about it, you know, being easy and all that stuff. No, no I didn't, this is easy. Oh, a ramp? Who put a ramp right there? Oh, maybe we need wider legs, because that wouldn't have happened. But there we go, nothing blew up. Nothing blew up, that's a good day, right? Huh. Huh. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's... Should have used parachutes. Oh. Have you ever heard about Brazil's rocket, the VLS? That... No, I haven't actually heard about that yet. Parachutes, you guys. Guys. Uh, also, by the way, another running joke of mine is basically to say it's easy because it never is, and that's definitely part of the fun. Um, I'm going to do this real quick again and check. I'm going to put our docking port directly over our center of mass just so that it um, can more easily control it, I think. Something like this might help, I think. I don't know if that actually will make a difference, but I'm going to try. And sorry, I keep like stepping away from the microphone. Again, it's been a while since I've streamed. Um, I'm also gonna try flipping those things out. Um, why not these landing gearies? The gears of land. There we go, one, one click should do. And one click should do. All right, let's try one more landing test. And then it's time to build the whole thing. What was my New Year's rev resolution? Uh, actually, it's to shake Elon Musk's, uh, no, not to shake Elon Musk's hands, to be introduced to Elon Musk in 2018. Uh, this this will be the side booster Buran. So uh, the cough says, this doesn't look like Buran. Why am I trying to land it? Um, need a decent style boom mic. This is, I'm using a shotgun mic. And I just find it to be easier than a lav mic. I've tried labs and stuff. I don't know. This works as long as I don't go about like this. And then it doesn't work as well as going right here. Has a little bit of a sweet spot. But for the most part, terp de derp. Um, this is the side booster of the Buran. And rumor has it they were going to recover it with parachutes and thrusters. <sighs> parachutes, we want to make this a 21st century Buran. So we're going to make it do this and land on its side using only thrusters. All right, do I know that Syria has an astronaut? Uh, I think I forgot, I think I knew that, but I have completely forgot. Um, let's see. <laughs> Canada, hi. What's my opinion on flat earthers? Well, um, they engage with me quite a bit on the old internet and I try to be respectful of people. I. You know, everybody, uh-oh, uh-oh, I didn't mean to click that right away. I may have just got this thing all sorts of wonky. You know, it's an interesting time in our lives when we have people who dedicate their careers to um, making scientific discoveries and whatnot. And when people have known the Earth is round for thousands of years, um, it's frustrating when you can feel the deadening of society. Um, but I want to engage people that have that actual belief uh, with no evidence to learn about critical thinking and the reason why they are making a, a grave mistake. David, thank you, David. David Parker on YouTube. Let's see what you have to say. You love my YouTube channel. Thank you. Really hope we start to see daily or every other day videos. I don't know if I can ever promise that. The videos that I produce uh, take like weeks, but I would love to do that someday. Oh, this is a hover slam. Suicide burn. Okay, okay, okay. Throttle down. 
Throttle down, Susie. Come on. Come on, we're landing you today. Where are you going? Where are you going? We have very little Delta V remaining. Oh, man. Throttle back up, throttle back up. And... No! No! I tried, guys. I tried. Well, uh, yeah, you're right. The scary thing for me, okay, I don't want to talk about flat earthers all the time because uh, a, I don't want to be targeted by them. Jeez, uh, and b, um, we're in a scary time because a lot of people learn from the internet now. They learn on YouTube, they learn on forums, they learn on all the stuff. And even if flat earthers, most of them are trolling, even if it's half of them are trolling, even if it's 90% of them are trolling. It means that there still has this consensus that it's a spectrum of beliefs about the existence of re the reality of physics and our actual universe. And it's terrifying to me that there's just as much voice uh, of, of wrongliness. Is that a word? Yeah. Uh, so it's, it's impor as important now as ever to be loud and um, for people that are properly teaching to be extremely loud. And that's what I think about Flat Earthers, is that even if you're trolling, that, that kind of makes it worse because you're potentially leading people astray. Oh, Loopy in our Discord. Beautiful. Uh, Ali, you're right. I can't quite talk about it. No. <laughs> uh, Loopy, that's how they're going to recover the the energy portion this oh wow that is cool I'm gonna show this this so this is the center booster of let's see here wait the center booster of the energy was proposed to land like this. That is so cool. I don't have procedural parts or whatever's doing that to make the wings unfold like that. But I sure would love to make that happen. Yeah, so that's the center booster. Um. The four side boosters were gonna land like that? I don't. Are you sure, Loopy? Bone stuck. <laughs> Um, Danny, did you hear about the camera on Elon Musk's rocket recording the flat earth? Uh, Danny, no, I guarantee somebody took footage from the upper stage of a Falcon 9 rocket, used a rectilinear correction like a fisheye GoPro. I'm a photographer and it makes me so mad when I see people uh, later taking footage and correcting footage to try to make it look like the flat earth. Um, that is the most dishonest and insulting thing someone can do. Um, yeah. And I hope to someday take a weather balloon because even with a weather balloon, if you have a rectilinear lens, not a GoPro, people always go, well, it's the fisheye effect from lens. No, we will use a rectilinear lens and we will send that up to the point where you can see the curve of the earth and it's going to be hilarious. Um, that has zero mods. That's really cool, Loopy. Let's see. Central core. <laughs> Alright, so. Let's go ahead and let's... It's time to get this thing going, huh? It's time to... Expand this thing. We're gonna go ahead and make a new root part. Let me think. Um... So we're gonna go like this, and we're gonna make this tank the root part, which I think is like this. Okay, cool. All right. What do I think of 2017? Man, I think 2017 was great. I had a great 2017, it was scary for me. Uh, a lot of big life changes. But, you know, we came out of it okay. Um, 
in the United States here, we we got a new president, um, which we're not going to talk about because we do not talk about politics <laughs> in in here. Um, yeah, I think 2017 was cool. Sorry, I'm really struggling with this right now. Why is it being such a jerk? Do I have to like rewrote the part of the part that's rooted? Great, did I just forever clip that into there? Uh, Kerbal. Sometimes. 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 Boop. We're gonna do this. And then we're gonna see if we can fix this. Alright. We're just gonna go about like this-ish. There we go. This'll work. Sorry, I'll get to you guys' comments after I'm done concentrating like an eagle. Uh, this might be too tall. Where is my... Where's my thing? Mmm... That cool picture I had. Where'd you go? I don't know, but I don't really want to flip around on my computer. I'm gonna go full screen here on me real quick for a second. Hi, everybody! Hi! Hi, it's... it's me. Tim Dodd. That everyday astro guy. How did that get way over here? I don't remember putting you... Six hours away here, my friend. All right, back to this. Uh, yeah, okay, I guess it is pretty low in the grand scheme of things, these side boosters. Oh, look at that, how ugly, what? Uh... Great. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Eh? That's close. I mean, that might be close enough. Sean, you should get the Lego Saturn. Saturn V is fantastic. Okay. How's this looking? Loopy. <laughs> Loopy in our Discord is questioning my design <laughs> plans. <laughs> Never question design plans, Loopy. Come on, man. Just build it. <laughs> he says, shouldn't I design the orbiter first? Well, I mean, sure, if you want to be... Uh, what's that called? Uh, correct. Yeah. Of course you would do that. But what fun is that? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to rewrote to this part. Uh, and then we're going to do this. This might be getting real sloppy here. This might be getting to be just a nightmare. Ta-da! Let's do two of these. I don't know. Mostly because it looks cool. Also because I think it's right-ish as far as the size. And let's stick this baby back on there! Oh, Loopy. Where would I be without you, my friend? Probably in Guadalajara. Uh, now, I need this thing to go way up. Is this what you're talking about, Loopy? You want me to do things correctly? Come on. Do I know about the Shavit Rocket of Israel? Yes. Um, I do know a little bit about that. It's pretty sweet. It, I think... When Israel launches, I think they go anti-rotation uh, of the Earth, which is uh, anti-grade, which is interesting. I have a lint. Interesting. Thank you for pointing out that somehow only one of the boosters flipped its... What? Oh, Kerbal. Why do you have to do this to me? I love you, but sometimes you do things that make me really confused cool cool beans Jeff well I think loopy is right perhaps I went the wrong way in life signing one thing wrong and then the other thing wrong and now I'm just really making a fool of myself come on Come on. 
Hey, hip hip. Now, guess what, jerk squad? You're gonna get fixed. I don't care what anyone has to say about it. Haha. -ha. It's gonna be painfully slow, one engine at a time. Nope. And like this. Is that even close to right? Yeah, good enough. This thing, if this thing flies, it'll be a miracle because at this point it's just becoming the most willy-nilly looking thing ever. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. Maybe. Ish. I don't, not at all. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. I think we fixed that. But now, this booster still looks like it's made out of cabbage. Like, why is it binding like that? Uh, Kerbal! Kerbal! You're making me mad! Huh? This won't help at all, I guarantee it. And I bet we just messed up our thruster thing we just did. What do you want to bet? Hey, maybe not. Um, there might be a little part clippy. Um, I'm also going to do this. You know what? I'm going to be okay with it looking all super funny because why not? Because <laughs> I don't think we have an, a, an option at this point. Oh, oh, come on. Come on. Mm, and huh, and hmm. Okay. This is interesting. It's looking, uh, some would say awful, others would say great. One of those two people would be right. Okay, interesting, right, guys? Yeah. Look at this. We're doing it. Another thing I don't understand, maybe somebody knows this. If you know this, please let me know. Please let everyone know. The Buran, the main orbiter did not have thrusters on it, basically. And what's confusing about that to me is it's off-centered. So, you know, the space shuttle, as we all know, I'm gonna add one more tank on top of this big guy. The space shuttle, as we know, had, it was mounted to the side of the tank, just like this, but it had engines and those engines uh, we're mounted in a way that the center of mass and the center of thrust, the center of mass and thrust, the center of thrust went through the center of mass, which was mostly this giant fuel tank here. But the thing is, I don't know how this works because, hang on, let me show you what I'm talking about. Because the heavier and heavier we make this, especially if we attach a 30 ton, 30 kilogram thing into the cargo bay, that's when stuff's going to get crazy. Look at this. So, okay, our center, for now, our center of thrust is already pointing a little bit outwards, which is going to make it, like, go like that. Now, the heavier we make the orbiter and the more things we stick in it, so just for now, I'm going to go like this and just show you what would happen if we had this inside the payload bay. Watch the center of thrust, or center of, see this ball? That's the center of mass. See how it shifted inwards because of this tank? And now our center of thrust is going even more that way. Why is it exactly at an angle that's oh hang on it's probably taking into account um here it's taking into account those side engines that doesn't matter i hate when it does that i wish you could stage that so i don't know if they did that through gimbling use vectors instead of a mammoth that's a good idea friend in the the cough thank you i like that idea that'll help um with controllability for sure. And we can make it a little bit more powerful. Actually, same amount of power, but a little bit more fuel, I mean. AKA more Delta V, more capable, not more powerful. Uh, about like that, huh? Cool. We're doing it, mom. And there we go, that looks nice. Uh, 
Okay. Nope, this, this, come on, this, this. I said this, come on, this, this. Okay. So we're getting it, we're looking like something. Right? Right, guys? Uh, we definitely want this to go after this. Uh, which one's gonna last less? <laughs> Is this center core gonna burn up way too fast? Let me see here. Yes, the center core is going to burn through all of its fuel very, very quickly. And also, I think we need to make it a lot taller. Cool, that'll help. Oops, I don't wanna actually just delete the whole thing. A lot taller. How about that? Eh? Even taller, you say? Okay. And hopefully now we have longer burn times of the uh, the main engines compared to. Hmm. Just barely. But we're also going to separate the boosters prematurely as well. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead. I kind of want to launch this, even though the orbiter is not anywhere near ready. Uh, we're gonna call this just straight up Buran, just to see if this thing can fly and stuff. We'll just say this is a payload dummy for now, and we're gonna go ahead and auto strut this, something like that. Um, and just for fun, I'm gonna do this. There's that like back panel thing, like this. Just so it looks a little cleaner. Now where's that? Something like this. Alright. Even more taller. <laughs> uh, do I know what 90% of the names of the stars we see in Naked are are Arabic names? I did not know that. You think it needs to be taller yet? Kind of, huh? All right, we'll replace this tank with this. Actually, we're gonna do this. This thing is tall, isn't it? This is a big old, big old, big old, big old, big old, big old thing. Uh, excuse me? Yes, hi. I'd like you to, uh, what's that called? Work, please. We're gonna also, since it's kind of all wonky-eyed, we're gonna do this. Maybe. Hmm. No, we're gonna do this. Just so when it's sitting on the launch pad, it doesn't just absolutely just destroy itself and its family. What? Okay, good. Where, are, where did it put all those? We're just going to go ahead and release the clamps at the same time as engine ignition. Because, you know, responsibility. Falcon Heavy. Can't wait. Oh, man. Uh, not sure if... Wait. Ten Kerbal Coins that this fails. Ten seconds after liftoff. Oh, no. This should... This should not fail. This should be able to be fine. Let's find out though, huh? Well, we are uh, looking good. A little, little bit naked here. I also need to make my side boosters taller. But here we go. Ready? Three, two, one. Hip, hip. Glorious. <laughs> Oh, Paul, ye of little faith. All of ye with little faith. Come on. 
Do I know the different capability of all the different Falcon 9s? Like we can see a video. I will be doing a video all about the block change iterations of the Falcon 9. Uh, right before, hopefully right before uh, Block 5 is officially announced, we'll do a, a good video rundown, or right after it's announced, so that we can make sure we have all the facts right. That might be more responsible. Look at this. Remember when all of you thought this was going to fail 10 seconds? We are 25 whopping seconds into fail, <laughs> into flight. I guess I have not the utmost faith, faith either, and face. Here's what we're also going to do. We're going to make it so this guy drains last. We want that center mass up top for now. Just us. It's a test. Uh, do I think BFR will be the next I ISS International Space Station? Um, no, it won't be because it's not really a space station. It's a launch vehicle. I think it could launch a new space station Space station in about one launch. By the way, you guys might have to notice, uh, laugh at me in the future when you hear me in videos. All of a sudden, I can't say International Space Station anymore. I, that was maybe the first time I've ever said it properly. I have take after take after take after take after take of me saying International Space Station. And I just absolutely slaughter the pronunciation of it. And it's horrible. International Space Station. And I get really frustrated. So, that being said, I now have to pronounce it on videos like International Space Station. Otherwise, it turns into a, a mess. And, yeah, so pay attention to that. It's probably going to bug you guys now. Does anyone know when Block 5 will be announced? Block 5 should be announced Q2-ish. Um, okay, we're going to throttle these guys down and eject them now. Oh, interesting. Well... Hey, two of them survived. So, we know this will work. No big deal. Let's go ahead and find one of those boosters that actually survived. Ooh, I just realized that I want to do my boost back burn, though. Well, I guess we don't have an option, do we? We're going to have to go like this. Oh. Hold on. Retrograde, retrograde, retrograde. This is not the best way to do this, folks. Do not do it this way when you are attempting your own not quite historically accurate Buran booster landing. Arguably terribly inaccurate Buran booster landing. We'll leave about 500, 450. If this makes it back to land, nope, it's not going to. We gotta at least get it back to land, huh? Otherwise, what's the point? Oh, wow. We are very short and very low on fuel. <laughs> Andreas, how you doing? BFR build? We've done some BFR builds. I've got one already up on my channel here, so check that out if you want to. Hmm. I'd maybe like to control this thing a little bit better. I'm nervous that our center mass is all out of whack. There's some people that, when they do Kerbal Space Program, they play it like it's like... EJSA on Twitch is very included in this. Plays it very methodical, like... No mess-ups. I'm definitely the, the Soviet Union version of Kerbal, where I... I don't take things into account. I I learn by flying, and I like to just wing it. I have a lot. More, I I find a lot more fun in that. And we are out of fuel, so booster separation is gonna have to be a lot earlier. Corey, I like the way you think. We're gonna do infinite fuel real quick, just to make sure. See how this would have worked. And also, that being said, we are also going to throttle up here real quick and do this. Oh oh. Make sure we get it over land. Um, yeah, John, that's... I, I love EJ. He's awesome. And I agree, though. He takes it... That's part of the fun, though, of his channel, is that he takes it so seriously. Um, that's definitely his, his niche. That's his thing. Uh, I play Kerbal like a cowboy. And I say... If it works the first time, you did it wrong. 
This is interesting. I think we're getting some body lift out of this thing. We have a little bit of a glide going right now. But... I don't have enough thrusters to actually keep this thing. I think normally we had a little bit of extra fuel up here, which counteracted... Let's try... Doing this. Hello? Where's the... Where's my pro my retrograde vector? I still don't have enough control authority to flip this thing around properly. It's not able to even find. There it is. Retrograde. Okay. Hey, look at that. Okay. And let's bring this thing to a beautiful touchdown now, shall we? Yeah, we just don't have enough control. Okay, that's a good test. That's why we that's why we test these things. Hey, thank you, Verts Verts Versty. <laughs> See, I'm so bad at pronouncing. Uh thank you, Versty. Uh that means a lot. I, I'm I'm glad you appreciate the content. Uh, I work pretty hard on it. Um, let's see here. I think what we need to do... I'm debating starting over. <laughs> Can a crew dragon get into lunar orbit and back home again? No. Uh, it does not have enough Delta V, even on a Falcon Heavy, uh, to get itself into lunar orbit. It can do a free return trajectory, though, as you mentioned. Where's the wings? We are trying to land this thing propulsively. Um, so, also, I don't like that it's, like, uncentered still. There we go. That's a little better. Over here. That's closer. Okay, so, we need to make the boosters taller, which will throw off everything we've done basically ever in life. This is why, this is why right here I dropped out of college. Because I'm just not very good at this. I hate that it does, I almost want to start over. Would it be bad to start over entirely at this point? <laughs> um, Versity, the real reason that no one lands them sideways is mostly because you have to add engines, and adding engines is complicated and weight, and there's actually less control that way. Uh, when you're landing a stick like that on its side, it's very, very, very hard to control. It's actually easier to control a rocket landing uh, vertically, like SpaceX does. And then they can use these same engines that took off, they use just one of them to land. It's very efficient, that's why. Around what time is the SpaceX tourist moon mission? Uh, Falcon Heavy Gray Dragon, some people are calling it, uh, will probably not be until um, 2019. Oh, for sure 2019. They've all already said that. Is booster landing realistic? Uh, yeah. I mean, that's what SpaceX does. That's... Watch, like, every video on my channel. It's all about SpaceX, mostly. All it shouldn't be. Uh, but I... Because they're doing really cool things. They... I have videos about how exactly, um... I think we need to make a video about... Or, you need to check out the videos about how exactly they land. And Kung Fu Fat Bear has an idea for video. A uh, bunch of short topics. Merlin versus Raptor. I think you're exactly right, Kung Fu Fat Bear. That's, that's, I have a whole list. A lot of my lists are this versus this because a lot of people are like, what's the difference between this and that? So I tell them. Um, yeah, you're right, Aerospace X Knight. Would I buy a Tesla? I have a Tesla on pre order already, a Model 3. I, it was a day one pre order, so it'll be a long time before that. Let's go test these side boosters on the runway. Adrian, we've already launched it. Where were you when I launched it? We are launch city already. This is just, we're hanging out in launch town. Parachutes, come on guys. Where is your adventure? People with your parachutes, what is this? What is this, the 20th century? No, we're in the 21st century, folks. What did I have last time, six segments? I need to make this like, seven segments
I like how I'm doing this the most inefficient way possible. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Um, Parker, SpaceX does not have uh, any lunar landing plans, really. Um, so, LEM, Lunar Excursion Module, and I don't know what else he said, but I'm assuming like a, a command module. Um, they currently, the only upcoming thing they have like that is their BFR and BFS, the Big Falcon ship, which is capable of landing on the moon and Mars and Earth. Yeah. <laughs> We're not... Uh, the, there were plans to land the Buran booster sideways. Um, we are not doing parachutes. If we wanted to do parachutes, we'd just strap some parachutes on there. That's boring. Boring, I tell you. I cry out in boredom. Ah. There we go. Yeah. Uh, how about a pair of shoes? It'll have... It'll have a pair of shoes, uh, two pairs of shoes, but no parachutes. Uh, wrong kind of thing. Uh, <laughs> eventually I'll figure this out. No, I'm actually gonna go like this so it's even wider and then we're just gonna clip it in. Alright, uh, yes, the space shuttle booster's landed by parachute, that's correct. Just make it land vertically. That's not, we're, we're kind of trying to like, go off the rumors that they were going to try to land it propulsively. Uh, how long does one video take to make? I'm, I take almost two weeks to, to make them. Most of that is scripting. Um, we spend a lot of time going over the script and I read my scripts like a hundred times before I I uh, before I try to do it on video which is infuriating then when I still mess things up but hey I'm, I'm not perfect I know it's hard to believe but I'm not I know I know stop. I know you're shocked um, yeah I, I still have a lot of glaring or occasional glaring errors even even with all the help from my, my uh, Discord channel, uh, we still make errors. But, hey, nobody's perfect. Like, uh, as a matter of fact, one of our, I think, I don't remember if it was Sh Corey or somebody. Who was it that recently, literally, I had the video posted online and he immediately goes, oh, by the way, CRS-10 was not the return to flight. <laughs> I'm like, ah! <laughs> I forgot that CRS-10 was not the return to flight after AIM-06. Yeah, Chris, uh, Christoph K, that is going to be the plan. Um, that'd be sweet, but guys, yeah, there is a Discord channel. It's for our Patreon members. If you want to consider helping support what Everyday Astronaut is and does, uh, visit patreon.com slash everyday astronaut. Um, just to make this easy on myself, I'm going to change one thing up here. I'm just going to do this. Mm -hmm. Take these engines off. These engines back on. Hi. Thank you, Allison. And what? And what? Oh, I should have done that before Antis there. Perfect. Okay. Could we recover the nose cone from the dragon? That was originally um, the option with Dragon 2, or the plan for Dragon 2, was to have that retract back. I think that got ditched now, for now. But we might see it come back again. Who knows? I feel like we're repeating history here a little bit. 
but hey. And you know what? I'm gonna definitely make sure that these go last. And then we're gonna pretend that we landed it. And that we're leaving the last two free here. Okay. Hey! Thank you! You're. You're from Hungary, awesome! Thank you so much, just finished the training. Excellent! Thank you so much for your generous tip. That's, that's amazing. I really appreciate you saying hi. Thank you, Matthias, that means a lot. And hello. I, I need, to, uh, need to make it over to Hungary. It's been on my list for a long time. Okay. Hey, is it official static fires on the 6th? Because that's been, uh... Yeah, that's been very much the rumor for a while. Alright, so... Yeah, the 15th is still kind of the standing date. But we'll learn a lot more about Falcon Heavy when it static fires, by the way. Okay. Let's see if this stupid thing... You know, I want to put, like, a, a cover on this. I don't like that we have these engines very... They look ugly. We need some kind of cool, sleek, super neat thing. Like, maybe some rammer scoops can cover it. Yeah, this will help. Last try. There we go. Because the Buran also had something kind of like this. I mean, not quite, but it did. Just for funsies, really. Most of the things we do here is just for funsies. Did I put those in the wrong place? Nope, looks about right. Cool! Look at that! Okay. I really wish all these ugly thrusters weren't so obvious. Alright, uh, we're gonna call this Buran Side Booster again. Buran Side Booster 2. Uh, these globes are from. Uh, these are from my friends over at Mova Globes. La la la. Yeah, they're cool. And again, the models are from Ollie Braun. O L I underscore thing. B R A U N on Twitter. He is a genius. He's a mad scientist. His brilliance scares me. And guess what? I totally forgot. We need to. We need to action group all this stuff. Um. Let's see, my favorite spacecraft is definitely the Falcon 9 at this point. I'm a huge, honestly, space shuttle's so cool still. Way up there on my list. Um, I also am a huge fan. Uh, obviously, the Saturn V in general is just phenomenal. Every time I see a video of it, I like kind of cry. And But yeah, guys, I'm just super stoked on the Falcon family. It's great. It's neat. It's doing cool things. It makes me excited. Toggle that. And toggle that. Okay, let's do this. Oh, and then control from here. Okay, this is like our flying bedstead, basically. Uh, I think the Ariane 6 is cool. It's gonna be pretty stinking powerful. Um, yeah. Uh, no, Sea Dragon was on is only a paper rocket. Always all ever has been. It's so cool, but it's just not ever gonna really be a thing. 
Alright, let's give this a little go. Oh, yeah. No problem. This thing flies great already. Let's take it around the block, huh? Uh, that doesn't do what I thought it would do. That doesn't do what I thought it would do. Apparently, I need, I need to do better with, uh... Oh, yeah, it does. Just inverted, like always. All these controls are super wonky. Super, super, super wonky. So... Okay, everything's backwards. But if I recover this and land it on the VAB, will you guys forever be my best friend? I just have to learn how to fly it all from scratch because nothing's making sense. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> See? No big deal, guys. I just need to go back like this. And now back like this. This thing flies great for a sausage. It's gonna gain a whole bunch of altitude at this point because I don't know what else to do. Besides eventually try to get it back somewhere near the vehicle assembly building. Uh, yeah, the flying bedstead, bed stand sure did go kaboom many times and this is so far feeling pretty reminiscent of that. Okay, we now have full control over this baby. The flying sausage is doing great. Thank you all for your concern. All right. Okay, 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 we're gonna do a little bit like this and then we're gonna cut these engines and we're gonna drop. But we're gonna hold Radial out. Okay, we're transver traversing that way a bit, so we're gonna cut a little bit of this horizontal velocity down. Until it's right over top of the nav ball, meaning straight down. About like that. Look at that! Oh! What a great, this is like a dachshund, a flying dachshund. I have never been so proud of an, such an ugly beast before. Not to say, oh, I don't you dare ever anyone misquote me about thinking that dachshunds are ugly beasts. This is entirely about this ugly beast. If anyone ever questions my love of dachshunds, how dare you? How could you? Also, sorry that I'm not looking at any comments right now. This Flying this thing is like flying a piece of candy that's stuck inside another piece of candy. That for some reason, the controls are with a six-year-old. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, settle down. Gosh, this is so frustrating. Because <laughs> nothing, none of the controls line up to at all what you think they are. Hey, this is looking good. If this looks easy, that's the biggest compliment. Hey! I did it! I mean, I didn't land on the helicopter pad, but yeah! Yeah, guys! Yeah! Take a cough drop wrapper. Wow! Granted, we had unlimited fuel. We should probably turn that off right now. I think we're gonna... I should probably drain the fuel out of this thing and see how it performs then. Yay! Uh, well, I officially flew a sausage, aka Buran Booster. Let's just take it out for a little bit more flying time. Oh, this is going to be harder now that, uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Why do we have, oh yeah, that's why. I flew too close to the sun. 
quite the boom. Flying sausage. Apparently RCS was very, 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 very necessary. Let's see how let's see how this thing does uh let's see how this thing does when it's out of fuel. So I'm gonna let it not have any fuel. Because we have not yet tested that. I'm just gonna basically sit here and hover. Until we're out of fuel. Or practice hovering at least. There we go. I'm gonna get a hang of this thing. This thing is just the weirdest thing. Such a beautiful, ugly vehicle that should never be. Still flying pretty well, actually, for being uh, low on fuel. I think we got it pretty well balanced. I've got a decent amount of control out of it. Hey, guys, I wrote this song last night. Um, it's going to go on the video that Ollie and I are working on right now. Uh-oh, I am losing a little bit of control now, I have to admit. It's getting harder and harder to fly at the end of its fuel tank. Maybe I should, um... Maybe I should make an action group that cuts a few of those front engines. That'd probably be a really good idea, actually. That cuts, like, one or two of those front engines. Um, let's see. Yes, uh, for those asking about second stage recovery of the Falcon, no. The Falcon family is not meant to be fully recoverable. That's what BFR is. BFR uh, does have a second stage. It's the upper stage of it, the BFS. I mean, that's it is its own second stage. Okay, let's go ahead and we're going to action group this engine once on three, and then we'll action group the next one on four. So if we need even less thrust, we can do that. I like the way I'm thinking. I like the way I think, me. Yeah, BFS is the second stage. There you go. All right, let's do this thing again. Okay, so when it's still fairly full on fuel, that's a mouthful, fairly full on fuel, um, I'm just gonna go like this and really drain some fuel here. Okay, I'll let you know. Still pretty manageable for now. And actually, we should be looking over here at our pitch. As soon as that starts having a really hard time and it's trying to correct a whole bunch, that's when we should be cutting another engine. I might not even try to land this thing. I'm just going to try to hold it um, radial out for now. And we're just going to watch. So when we get down to about... 300 here is probably advantageous to cut another engine. Look at that. Beautiful. Now it doesn't have to pitch as hard. See? <sighs> Science. It's just beautiful. Come on down here, buddy. Come on down here. You're out of fuel. But still, we had control over it. That's good news. Boop, boop, boop. The only thing I need to do, though, uh, before I forget, is I need to make an action group to point back to the main probe core for some, in case we need to for whatever reason. Right now, we're going to do that right now. Action group one. Bang. Probe core. Control from here. I love that they have this option now. Okay. Move my stats into view. Um, okay, I will do that next time. Um, all right, so let's, uh, let's figure out how to make this baby a sub-assembly. 
let's see, the best way to do that is to make some kind of, um, let me think about this. For now, we're going to do, we're going to do this backwards. What's the best way to do this? Attach one of these, or just do a, a docking port or something. Make this the primary part. I don't know if I'm doing this right. What's the best way to do this, guys? That's true, John Ellis. Buran did fly many times. Only one time did it go to space. It did a bunch of little gliding tests, kind of like uh, the Enterprise. So what do you guys think about, uh, how do I properly, I'm bad at sub-assemblies. That's something I haven't really done that much of in my life. Uh, 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 yeah, we could do it like this probably, and then just mount it to a docking port. Why not? So let's go for make this the main part. Okay, so now we should be able to go like this. Wait a second. I did it wrong. Okay, sub assembly. Wow. What's this thing called? Buran side booster. For fun. For all your side boosting needs. Unless it doesn't work for your needs, then you'll need something else. Save. Okay, and leave. All right, let's do this. Okay, so, uh, Basim, I'll, I'll answer this now because this is a question we get all the time. Why doesn't Elon send something useful to Mars instead of his stupid Tesla? This is a demo mission. The Falcon Heavy has a very, way higher chance than we would like to send something valuable up into space. Um, normally, they would just do a, a payload simulator, like literally just a hunk of steel. Um, previously, they've done like sand, I think even. Um, a mass simulator. Uh, it's not worth putting a $2 billion probe on there uh, if it has about a 50% chance of actually getting to Mars. Don't forget, SpaceX has never launched anything to Mars. And also, this isn't this isn't going to Mars. It's not landing on Mars, for sure. It probably won't even do an actual... It definitely isn't going into Mars orbit. And it probably isn't even doing an actual Mars flyby, um, at least anytime soon. It's going on a Mars-eccentric, uh, semi-elliptical uh, orbit around the sun, so it's still orbiting the sun, and it's 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 perihelion, uh, its highest point around the sun will be Mars's orbit, its lowest point around the sun will be Earth orbit. Um, but they might actually be able to kind of get it to be a little closer. Um, it might get fairly close to Mars, but we don't know, and they don't want it to be super close because it's not meant to come in contact with Mars, so don't forget that. There we go. That's why. There's your answers. All right, um, I'm just gonna kind of mock this up again real quick. Just good enough to prepare. Prepare the boosters. All right. From Emily to Godzilla plays because you love Godzilla. I can't argue with your logic. That's some sound, sound logic there. Uh, email or M Emily or however you, uh, you pronounce your name. I'm sorry that I'm slaughtering. Don't make me pronounce things, guys. You know this by now. Actually, maybe that was about right. 
Um, we're just gonna do this. I'm just struggling. Riding that old struggle bus today. All right. Look at those babies. We got some. We got some real maracas down at that end of the rocket. All right. Time to do this. Time to stick one of these. Jim John's on here again. I like how we're just having to backtrack, but that's the story of my life. La la. <laughs> I'm now going to be the everyday cosmonaut. You're exactly right. Um, uh, ready. I, I'll tell you how to make a shuttle work. You have to pay a lot of attention to click on this, your center of mass down here, and then click on this, your center of thrust. Um, vehicles, space shuttles only work when the center of thrust spends a good majority of its time able to go through the center of mass. And what's tricky with space shuttles is that they have all this mass hanging off the side of it. And now with the normal US style uh, space shuttle um, over here, they point the engines inward. You'll notice that the engines are slanted like this, like 10 degrees. And that's to make it so it's going through that center of thrust. Otherwise, if it was pointed straight up, actually, I'll show you. Why don't I just show you like a smart guy would. Okay, check this out. Now, see where our center of thrust is. Um, if we were to launch this right now, which, let me think about this. If we do this, would it work? Or do we need to actually have a fuel tank in there? I'll just show you, just so people know why space shuttles are crazy and how they work. Okay. We're gonna launch this real quick. Now notice, our center of mass is over here, our center of thrust is right here. We're gonna lock this gimbal too, just to make this um, extra bad. All right. You're exactly right. Dan uh, Daniel, sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name. Um, yeah, the, the Buran will not have, um, we're going <laughs> to go ahead and do this. Oh, that's going to be funny because it's pointed all funny. Uh, well, this one might be a little exaggerated then, but whatever. Yeah, the Buran does not have main engines like this. All right, so watch what happens. Actually, we're just going to turn SAS off too to make this super obvious. Here we go. Three, two, one, and watch. It'll flip over like this. Oh, also because that wasn't on. I'm not, I'm not even succeeding in, in illustrating this. <laughs> yes, this will have wings. Okay. One more time illustrating. So now you're going to notice that the center of thrust is offset from the center of mass, therefore making this happen. Three, two, one, hip, hip. You gotta make sure that center of mass goes through or the center of thrust goes through your center of mass, or else that's bound to happen. Oh, look at this. Let's ride this one out, huh? Oh, what a great vehicle. Piggyback. Whee! Still going, huh? All right, that's what I thought. <laughs> All right, back to actually building Buran. You're right, uh, John Ellis. I have to say, guys, the space shuttle was so freaking cool, but it was not a very good vehicle. <laughs> I mean, there's better vehicles out there. We'll just put it that way. Um, it was it was great. It was beautiful, but it was not this like for human safety. It was not good. <laughs> okay, Buran, you're looking great. Time to make you look greater. Let's see if dropping a sub assembly is actually just gonna straight up work. This like never works. Oh, it's going to work. And I'm gonna look like a hero. <laughs> what triumphant hero music. I'm a little nervous that I made this song sound a little too Asian. Wow, I totally screwed this up. Look at that, I still need to make it taller. Like an idiot! I 
It needs to be almost two more segments taller. This is bad news, I'm going All right. Will I ever show my setup? Um, yeah, I can do that. I I think I've probably I've shown my Patreon supporters. They've seen everything. I think. Um, it's not anything that exciting. It's just a Mac Pro uh, with a uh, with I've got an Apollo Twin preamp and interface and a shotgun mic and a Blackmagic camera. I guess it is kind of different for most live streams. I feel like most live streamers just use like a Logitech. Um, yeah, I kind of try to step up the game a little bit though. All right. Falcon Heavy launch date. I love that's. We should just pin that. I should just make it the banner across my live stream. Falcon Heavy launch date is. Uh, guys, don't even don't listen to any date you see until Static Fire. So once the Static Fires, they'll let us know. Um, anything at this point is just a placeholder date. It's not worth really even, yeah, thinking about too much at this point. I mean, you can think about it. We can all think about it, right? But yeah, it's not going to be what we think it is. Okay, Buran, you're looking like a Buran, sort of. Let's fix this. This is going to go over here a little bit more. Yeah! That's looking pretty Burani of you. Oh, what a great day. What a great day to be a Buran. Wow, let's compare that to, wow! Yeah, those, <laughs> our side boosters are definitely a little skinny, but if we went to the next size up, it'd be too fat. Classic Kerbal. Classic Kerbal move, huh? So cool looking. Sorry, I just had to admire it for a while. And make sure we're not totally far off. I mean, that's relatively, that's pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and give it the old, that's pretty good thumbs up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Error. Potentially life-ending error. At least for the booster recovery portion. Uh-oh, now it's off angle. Oh, no. Okay, I'm going to fix this real quick. We're going to do it like this. We're going to center this on the side. We're going to detach this. And then reattach it like this. There we go. That recentered it, right? Yep. Looking good, Mr. Potato. I want to just put this on that like in the middle of that black thing, just for alignment. Oh yeah. Oh. Two clicks and a yeah. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. Yeah. This is, this is great. Huh. All right. Is there a date for static, <laughs> for Falcon Heavy Static Fire? I, if there was a way to have it so that every time, uh, <laughs> if there was a day to make, or a way to make it so that every time someone says Falcon Heavy, it like sends a tip to a orphanage or something, we'd probably solve that issue today. Or solve world hunger if it donated a can of food to someone in Hungary, we would, we would solve world hunger by the amount of Falcon Heavy questions, which I love guys. Because Falcon Heavy is that exciting. I totally, 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 totally get it. Um, but yeah, um, I should make like a sticky or something. I'm going to go ahead and put this guy back here. And now we might actually want to lower this a little bit. Was it the tail? Yeah, the tail is kind of equal to the bottom. Oh, yeah. Wow. What a beautiful, 
beautiful thing. Hold on. What is... Oh, yeah. Man, you... You'd think this is my first time playing Kerbal with as many... Random buttons as I'm smashing. Woo! Okay. Make energy a bigger... Uh, as in taller? We can't make... We can't make the side boosters bigger, per se. We can, but it's gonna be a nightmare. We can make this one more notch taller, though. Just for funsies. Just for funsicles, we're gonna do it. Because why not? Because we have it. We have the option. The people voted yes. Oh, I like this. I like the way... <laughs> I like the word running... The way running mad thinks. Might want to save all that work. You're exactly right. Buran, baby. Not baby Buran. Don't get those things confused. Main body rocket is too slim. Unfortunately, Kerbal does not give us... If Kerbal gave us a 5 meter... Or wait, what is this? Is this 5 meters? I never remember how this works, guys. If Kerbal gave us a bigger tank set, that would be great. Our current biggest is 3.75. They need to give us a 5 meter wide tank. I can't do anything about it. Is that a uh, Lego Saturn V? Of course. Of course, of course it is. CSGO memes. Hi. Hi, CSGO memes. I hope you are busy memeing. I hope the memeing season is hot. I hope you're finding the memes you've always needed. I hope that the memes of 2018 treat you memefully well, I don't know anything I'm saying. Why? What's the point? I'm just going to question all of life at this point. They, these, I think wings have a little rake to them. Nope. Apparently Buran doesn't. They said we don't need any kind of like inner rake like that. Name the rocket. Buran. Buran Blaster. I like that. But. I'm too lazy to change it now. We have some debate in my Discord channel about the origins if, if Russia just straight up copied our space shuttle, which, yeah, there's, that is a debate, is like, did they literally get the leaked blueprints? But also, I've heard someone say, you know what though, physics dictates this thing. You can try to build it however you want, but you're going to end up with one shape and one shape only for a delta wing, for a, a lander like this, so. Dihedral, thank you, John. Oh, you guys are so smart. Oh, I know we can mod this. I like to play this thing as unmodded with stock parts just because it's more challenging. And that way anybody can do it without having to be like, which mod do you have? And I have to like list 40 hours of mods and they have to spend the next three weeks trying to mod their machine and all this stuff to make it work with it. And then it doesn't work someday because they updated it. I just like it. I like stockness as much as possible. And... There's nothing you can do about that. Trevor! Hi, Trevor Mallman. It was so funny as an American seeing the Buran in Russia and in Baikonur. Then the residents describe it as the original. Yeah. Dude, Trevor, how was it? My friend Trevor Mallman, he's a, a fellow launch photographer. Uh, he also is the one that taught me how to do ISS transits. He also did an ISS transit uh, for Smarter Every Day of the Eclipse, which was awesome. Um, he just got back from Russia. You get a Russia, and you get a Russia. Uh, what am I doing here? What is this? What? Where's the other one? There should be two here, Kerbal. You're giving me one here. You're making me look like some kind of cat dad. What? There's supposed to be two. Count them. One, two, no. Mm. How long did the Brienne fly for? Four hours, or just under four hours. It flew around the Earth twice, did two orbits, which would be 180 minutes, which is three hours, but I guess if you include launching, over just over three hours. Somewhere between three and four. Okay. 
Um, I don't know why it's not letting me put on a little, put on a little extra weight, if you know what I mean. Winter season's here. I don't know what I'm talking about. Why is there not two? Maybe that's why. Okay, I'm just gonna do this. Don't yell at me anymore. Okay. We're gonna go like this. We're gonna push this up. That seems like there's two. That seems like there's one. And sure. Eh? 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 Ah. Super, super, super wonky. But we're getting there. Hey, there we go. That's kind of like it. How flared out was that? Not very. Anyway, I'm I'm getting really anxious to fly this thing, even though we don't have landing gear. Ah. Yes, the Buran was autonomous. It was it was flown once without anyone in it, which is actually, in my opinion, really, really, really impressive. You know what we're gonna do that the Buran didn't do? Well, yeah, it did. It had some kind of puffs here. Probably should have put these on while the vehicle was detached from this. Okay, I'm just gonna take this off for a second. We gotta focus on some other things. Oh God, I'm so scared. Oh God, oh God. What if I delete that? I'm gonna put it back on and save it real quick just in case. Because knowing me, something will happen as it's like detached, then we'll have to reload it and we'll lose all of that. Okay. <gasps> Safety. Uh, trip was amazing, says Trevor Malman. Have lots of pics to show at the Space Correspondence Center. That's awesome. We will do a Falcon Heavy someday. I've done Falcon Heavy streams before, guys. Come on. Falcon Heavy's been known for years. Where were you guys two years ago? I don't know. I wasn't streaming two years ago. I used to do... I did a Falcon Heavy stream a bit and a half ago. But today is Buran because I promised it for somebody that's probably not even watching. I don't even remember who it was. Somebody in one of the streams... I think I mentioned it actually when I was doing a SpaceX stream that I was going to do a Buran stream. And here I am. I don't know why I'm even doing it because you guys don't even care. Nobody cares. It's kind of a joke, but I mostly just wanted to do it for fun because I love Buran. Buran's so cool. Oh, get back here, Dad. There we go. Much better. Okay, so let's check out our center of thrust and our center of whatever it's called now. Looking pretty good. We are going to have to angle that in just a little bit. How much Delta V will we have with this thing? Uh, only 312 meters per second. That's barely enough to do anything. That's Is that right? That can't be right, can it? Even without anything in the payload bay, we only get 312 meters per second? A four minute burn time? That's why this doesn't really make that much sense, guys, because you have four minutes of, of burn time and it has to lug around this whole orbiter. You're basically, here's the problem with a space shuttle, guys. You're basically, you made a really big, heavy, reusable fairing, is all, or at least the Buran. That's about all you did. Um, also, you can transport people, which is nice, so a capsule. But a, just make a capsule then. It's a lot more mass efficient. We're having to tug around this cargo bay that's not free. Doesn't doesn't weigh nothing. We have to carry around these heavy wings, these this heavy tail stabilizer. Yeah. Add more fuel. The problem <laughs> with the space shuttle. You're right. There were multiple problems, multiple issues. I should double check that my landing gear is straight because otherwise we're gonna come to a beautiful landing. And then die. Okay. We gotta add a couple, uh... Since we don't have normal fuel, we have to do these stupid ones. Which I'm not a big fan of. Oh, they tuck away nice, like that. I'm just gonna put them all over the place. Don't make fun of me. I mean, you can, but... Don't. And... Just enough to be able to 
maneuver and orient anywhere in the vacuum of space. I do like these hide. That looks a lot nicer. Um, I'm also going to make it so this looks a little cooler. I don't like this song anymore. I've never had people complain so much about a song as when I use this in one of my videos. Um, like, so annoying! Turn it off! It is very repetitive, but I'm sorry. And I had to respond like, I'm sorry, I'll write better music next time. Don't fire me. I mean, I still kind of like it. I don't hate it. But it's it's a bit... Of, I, I, I get what they're saying. It is a bit obnoxious. Uh, Kerman, or, uh, Elon Kerman, uh, we'll see. The moderators have been at this for a long time. Um, perhaps someday. Once you get a little more, a little more skin under your tuft. What? Excuse me. I don't know what skin under your tuft means either. I hope that's not something insanely offensive in somewhere. Because I think I made it up, but... Um, yeah, I do all the, all the music in all of my videos. Everything. I, there's, you will not find one second, unless it's from a movie or something like that, little clip in Apollo 13 that I used once. Uh, all the music in my videos is original, and I write using, I write on, uh, in Logic. I used to be a Pro Tools guy, um, but now I'm not. Oh, I apparently, at some point, took off the front landing gear, because why not? I was gonna try to land it just on the skids, that's why. Okay, I think we're ready to make the stack, and I think we're ready to launch this stupid thing. If this gets into if this gets into orbit on its first try, I don't know what's gonna happen. And if we manage to recover even a single booster, I'm actually gonna throttle down the engines on those boosters. I think because they're gonna be uh they, they burn out so quick. Okay, here we go. Energia. Looking good. It's not ready. What are we forgetting? The advantages and disadvantages of having subcontractors. That's a that's a heavy topic. I don't know if I can just Well, obviously, if you're the expert in building something, it sometimes does not make sense for your company to invest in trying to reproduce something that somebody else is already making and that they're like the experts in. And that's kind of what people say about like SpaceX. Like they're so cocky for making their own flight en or engines, you know, all everything basically. And you know, the people of our experts in this have been doing it for decades. But um, SpaceX is like, no, we'll just learn and make it ourselves, and then be able to make changes whenever we want. Um, I get both sides of it. Obviously, you can have cost savings if you can produce something at a, a in big enough, large enough quantities in house. You can obviously save money over the long run. Yeah, there you go. There's the pros and cons. Okay, like I said, I'm gonna... Oh god, if I do this, will I have to do each one individually? So right now we're gonna be taking off with... Um, let's also get... Where is... This. That's in there. These are in there? Why? Oh, wait. We need to enable docking here. Enable staging. And these guys. I probably don't need to do it on multiple things. Actually, yeah. I don't know if it matters, but I don't think I want like these outer ones. Okay. We're getting there.
check your staging. Eight, eight, four, good. Now, those guys. Okay, those are good, then that. And then as long as these guys are somewhere above that, yep, that'll be fine. Oh. <laughs> I've always wondered how they do laundry in space. You basically throw it away. Um, the first astronaut to do laundry in space was Don Pettit by reusing his underwear to make basil seed or tomato seeds, one of the two, a planter bed using his underwear. Other than that, they wear garments for about two weeks, which is interesting. Um, ooh, I'm nervous this is gonna bang right into that wing there. All right, we're gonna do something a little bit risky here. We're gonna bring these in one click. But now that's gonna make our center of thrust even more outwardly great. Do I wanna be adopted by Elon? No, no. I'd, play, I'd like to play him in a first person shooter someday though. I don't know which one. I just hear he's good at it. This isn't gonna work too well. I'm not even that good at first person shooters, but that just sounds like a fun way to, fun way to interact with somebody. Well, this is gonna be interesting, guys. And, and ladies. Ladies and gentlemen. Fellow humans that are paying attention. All right, I think this is gonna have to do. <laughs> Ah! Yes, this will be fun. Okay, let's double check something here, though. So, staging-wise, we have plenty of thrust-to-weight ratio. This core stage is going to end up way crazy high. How can it dare say there's only 4,900 meters per second of delta V? Can that be right? Aha! Dan is right, Dan you however you say your name, I apologize again. We are gonna put some parachutes at the end. We're just gonna use uh, some drogue chutes. And stick them like... Like here-ish, how about that? Talk to the chat, please. Hi, Ben. Sorry, I'm concentrating. Do you want me to do you want me to finish this or not? All right, look at that. Look at that. It's a little bit off scale, but hey, that's fine. I think we're ready. Um, tilt the engines. Nah, we're not tilting no engines. I don't think it needs it. Yeah, I think we're ready. This will be very, very, very interesting. We don't need to tilt the engines. We'll be fine. Um, it's hard to find a complete set of what? Mars one. Aww. Wah wah. You can make Vulcan rocket if you move the shuttle. Add four more boosters and extend the central block. You're right. Um, all right, well guys, I think we're ready to give this thing a, a try, but we better find a good launch song. That was not on my headphones, okay. Yeah, this one will work. Okay, here we go. Are you guys ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, hip, hip. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at this. What a beautiful, magnificent beast. 
and it's begin it's working so far we don't do licensed music though in my live streams we do original music that way we don't have to worry about such things let's try rolling this is going to be terrifying oh god uh, I'm gonna go ahead and point radial out and try to roll again oh no problem no problem it's a little wonky got a little wobble but no big deal why do I have decouplers you know I don't know actually I made a sub assembly at some point and then now I'm just confused in life I'm a little nervous that it, we're gonna run out of fuel wait um, we have a few things going on here. I think number one, did we? No, we still don't have that. We forgot to fill those side boosters back up. Let's do that. You're right. Uh, YouTube will, uh, Neuropilot in Discord says that YouTube will even flag legally licensed music. I kind of would love if YouTube flagged my own music, just so I can be, like, raise a big stink and be like, are you serious? You're gonna flag my own music and see if, uh, see if they listen. Maybe they won't and it'll just be a huge headache, but... There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, so now we have... More Delta V, but still not that much. I'm awfully tempted to add one more segment to each of these boosters. Um, we could do fuel lines, but it's probably about right. Does this mean the center core is going to burn out? Or is this a minute and 44 additional? I forget how that works. Um, somebody asked what I think of the Neutron Star merger. Uh, Corey, come on! Have you not watched my newest video? The one about the coolest space moments of 2017? Because that was in it. Tell you all about it. This is a Buran space shuttle. They don't have main engines on the orbiter. At all. There is... Oh! Is there crossfeed enabled through the fuel... The, the docking ports right now? Good call. Good call. Good call. All right. Astro Space Awards. Yeah, that's exactly right. Okay. Nope. The orbiter does... Well, does the orbiter of the Buran have three engines? Uh, DCXA was cool. I'm sad it didn't go well. We'll just put it that way. All right, guys. You do need about 3,000. Um, I do have plenty of Delta V, but we're also going to try to recover these side boosters, which will be interesting. Are you guys ready for this? This is not a launch song. New launch song. Sure, this will work. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. Hip, hip. That worked out pretty good that time. All right. Oh, Scott, no way. That's awesome. You got to see... I wish I could have... Uh, that I could have seen the Iridium 4 UFO. I'm very, very, very jealous. Um, yeah, I knew... We were, those of us watching the live stream were like, okay, this is going to cause like some pandemonium in, in LA. And it literally kind of did. I love how people were like, why didn't they tell us about it? Like, because you're not paying attention. <laughs> they did they let everyone know there's a launch silly um nope spacex is not launching a rocket today it is on friday zuma a mysterious payload no way scott you drove down from utah or from utah that's awesome um what it will happen again you're exactly right journalist 
Um, hey, Scott, if you don't mind me asking, where in Utah? One of my favorite... Utah is one of my favorite states. Utah is honestly amazing. And I am not saying that lightly at all. Uh, especially Moab is like arguably the most beautiful place in the United States. Um, have I heard of the band Star Set? I, I think I've heard that name, but I don't know them. No, they definitely did not scrap Zuma. Uh, that doesn't really happen. They don't just go, yeah, we're not gonna... We're gonna just throw this probably $2 billion satellite away. It is top secret military. It is probably very expensive. Okay, now we gotta... We should have been working on a gravity turn a while ago, but I was just really trying to keep our orientation. Eee. I don't like flying shuttles. They don't fly very well. So wait, why did some of my fuel burn out? Oh, that's why. I forgot to fill up all the boosters, so now we have a few boosters. Oh, well, that's interesting. These four are going. But not this... What? How did that happen? Okay, I think I have to make one more tweak before we do this. I have to... We have to fix this. Thank you for saying good job on the BFR video. I appreciate that. We're just going to do this. Um... And we're gonna do this now. Rotate this way. Hey, I want to take a real quick second, and I just want to thank you guys. Honestly, this uh, 2017 was scary as a content creator, as someone who is. Uh, I stopped shooting weddings full time. Uh, I had no idea what I was going to be doing at the end of 2018 or at the beginning of 2018. Um, and I, I wouldn't be here without everyone here hanging out. It really means a lot, um, yeah, and I, I sincerely, sincerely mean that. So thank you guys. Yeah, uh, I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for the support you guys um, have been giving me. So um, thank you for the, the kind compliments on the videos. Thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for hanging out in the live streams and asking good questions. Um, yeah, it's been, YouTube has been very, very, very encouraging. Um, like I said, I, I basically came from Instagram and it's a very different world between those two social media platforms. And um, YouTube has just been amazing. Ollie Branch, thank you. Well, I appreciate. Geez, you don't have to spend your last three or four dollars or four on four ninety three euro. Uh, thank you, though. I really appreciate that. <laughs> um, okay, so what else do we need to do? We need to make sure these are all topped off now. I think they are. I think we're better to go now. Oh, the other thing I probably should have done is made it so that docking port's more in the center. But I think we're pretty go good to go. All right, let's try this again. Third times, fourth, fifth times, tenth times a charm? Sure, something like that. You know what I'm gonna do to make it easier on myself? Check this out. This might be cheating. Pre-roll. <laughs> and launch. Hey, thank you so much, Lewis. Dang, a new Patreon too and a tip. Thank you. That really means a lot. That's awesome. Um, yeah, that means a lot. You want me to move my pocket? Where would you like it to go? I don't have a Ripple wallet yet, but I would like to do that someday. I don't know how. I think I did disable CrossFeed. CrossFeed has been disabled. I copied it over. Check this out. See, it's disabled. All right. All right, let's do this. Those, I hate that the side boosters are just too stinking skinny. I'm almost thinking we should upgrade them to the 2.5 meters, is that what it is? That'd probably almost look better at this point. They just look hilarious. All right, guys. Hey, thank you, Gabriel. Ben, I already said your name. I don't remember when. All right, here we go. We're gonna do it with the music. I don't like this song either. This song is not gonna go on an album when I eventually make one. Three, two, one, hip hip. Bad timing for a song. What a jerk. Woo, it is rotated more better. This is way more betterer for a rotation. 
Now, my the only concern is that this center core is actually burning fuel as fast as these guys. I think. Uh, maybe a little bit slow. Okay, it's burning slower. It's burning slower. And also, we're going to separate these boosters fairly early in an eventual attempt to recover them. Uh, why didn't I play Sputnik on launch? I don't know. I'm just going through my playlist. Uh, Philip James, do I license my music for others to use in videos and stuff? I... If someone tells me what they're using it for, I typically just say go for it. Um, depending on what it is, I've sold some music for commercial use before, but yeah, uh, otherwise, I don't know. I don't know. May some maybe. It's just kind of case by case. Someone wants me to throttle down because we are approaching max Q. I don't know. We're not going that fast yet, actually. Hey, thank you. Alxo82. Well, thank you. That means a lot. Thanks for the fun I had, and we will be watching my videos. Thank you. I really, really appreciate that. Um, there's a lot of content now, guys. I, I made the first video I made that was like actually me standing in front of a camera talking in my spacesuit was at the end of February. Actually, it was the day they announced Gray Dragon. Um, it's crazy to think how that was the first one, and at that point, I think I had about 300 subscribers on YouTube. Um, so yeah, huge, huge thank you for to all you guys for finding me and sticking around and hanging out. That's awesome. Um, yep, Ollie Braun is the rocket guy. Where did I get my spacesuit? Found it online. There's a website called rrauction.com. Um, bought it as a joke, and now it's the bane of my existence. Cody Slab wants to know why SpaceX can't transfer fuel to the main center core um, on Falcon Heavy. It comes down to, that's called fuel crossfeed, and it's very complicated. Very, very, very complicated. You have to keep, either you have to keep pressure in the tanks and feed fuel to, to each tank and top them off, which is not recommended. I think what they end up normally doing is actually feeding the engines from the outer tanks um, the, to the center engines. So the center engines basically burn fuel from the outer tanks first, is the concept. Um, but the problem is the Falcon Heavy is literally, it's super capable already. It's really high thrust. They have all the performance they could possibly get out of it. Um, you know, it's only a 3.2 meter, 3.2, or is it 5.2 meter wide fairing. Uh, it's structurally limited. It's only a 3 meter, 3.2 something meter wide vehicle. Um, they, since they upgraded the Merlin engine so stinking much, they really just simply don't need crossfeed. And it's not worth the R&D to make the vehicle like even any more capable, really. Okay, we're gonna work on um, a booster step here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off these booster engines and see if these run right into the... Hey, look at that. No explosions? What is this? This is very uncurable. Now the problem is, without FMRS mod or whatever, I won't really be able to try to recover those right now. But we can just do a separate flight and see if we can actually get that to work. And yeah, we should have plenty of Delta V to get ourselves into orbit. We are making it spicy in here. How is it? How expensive is it to get nitrogen for pivoting? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know. It's probably negligible compared to the total cost. Are you talking about, um, like the cold gas thrusters, the nitrogen cold gas thrusters? Because I think, uh, RP-1 is actually the, the fuel they use to, to actually do the, the, the TVC, the, the thrust vector control on the engines. I'm pretty sure that's actually done, um, with RP-1. I might be wrong on that, but, um, I don't think they use nitrogen for that, for pivoting. I'm not sure if that's exactly what you're asking. Wow, we are spicy. I could have, I kind of did too much of a gravity turn for once. Normally I don't do enough. We are screaming into orbit here. Making a big old statement here. Do I think SpaceX will colonize art? 
That's an interesting question. I have no idea how to answer that. Um, how does one colonize art? And can you? Make a falcon boosted shuttle. Yeah, I could do that. Do I think the... Oh, man, I can't keep up with you guys right now. And also, I'm not doing a very good job of flying. That That's also a concern. Look at this. Look at this. You guys wanted an orbit, and we're getting an orbit. Wow. I'm going to go ahead and throttle down so that poor Kerbals don't, you know, get their brains squashed too much. It's not a bad idea. Okay, and... Here we go. La-dee-da. We're going to make it so the... So the core... We still have a lot of Delta V left over in this thing, which is a shame. But, hey, this is a good song for, like, just getting into space. We're going to go ahead and we're going to swing this baby around, and we're going to drop the stage off. Then we're just going to put the orbiter in, in, in orbit. We're going to let this stage burn up the lower stage. So for those of you that don't know about how kind of how orbital mechanics work, we kind of dog -leg this a little bit, and you can see... Um, Right now, our highest point is up here, 219,000 meters. Thank you to whoever told me in the last live stream that you can pin these. I did not know you could do that. Um, and if we don't make any other maneuvers, we would go back into the atmosphere. And the atmosphere is um, about 70,000 meters in Kerbal. So if we don't do anything right now, if we don't speed up here at our, at our highest point, we our lowest point is going to be too low. It'll go through the atmosphere, and the atmosphere will slow us back down. But that's exactly what we want to do, actually, with our with our tank. We want this thing to burn up. So we're going to release that. And we're going to glide away like this, like a cloud. Not the most graceful pull away I've ever seen. Apparently, I need to put a few more thrusters on the bottom of this thing. Am I hitting the right button? No, I was not. That's why. There we go. Okay, so now we will fly out. Tim shuttle with rocket is wrong. Mm, no, this is about right. This is the Buran, remember? All right, so uh, have I thought about putting together best bits montage for the Parsec Awards? I think Fraser Kane has won three. I don't know what the Parsec Awards are, um, but yeah, I putting together some bits. Yeah, it probably was you, Alpha, actually. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get these OMS, these these uh, monoprop engines fired up. And now we're going to speed up to our highest point. We're going to get ourselves properly into orbit. So we're speeding up here to the highest point in our orbit. Now you can see... Um, oh, that's our International Space Station. Bye. Okay, we are coming up to Apoaps. This is our highest point here. Oh, past it kind of, but whatever. Now we face prograde, which is forward. Like so. And we're going to fire up the engines. So we're facing the way we're traveling. So now by speeding up, we're going to raise our lowest point, which is our periapsis. Ta-da! And you can see this is raising now. And there it goes. We're going to go into a circular orbit. So our highest point is 210. We're going to get our lowest point to about 200. Philip James, hopefully going to the Cape for the, the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite SpaceX launch. Which one's that? Tess? I don't know about that satellite. I don't. So I don't live in Florida, um, Philip. But uh, when I'm down there, I will definitely be doing some Patreon uh, meetups, um, maybe a Patreon dinner, and then a, probably hopefully a full blown meetup um, as well later on so um yeah so falcon heavy if you guys are coming down if you are a patreon supporter uh you will know about that and if you are at falcon heavy and want to hang out consider becoming a patreon supporter yeah it'll be a lot of fun okay that's good enough all right so now we still have 477 meters per second oh I think the reason it, it miscalculated our delta V so much is because we were in atmosphere mode when we had that. Um, there we go. Do I know that the Dragon spacecraft made using old blueprints of 
Zyra spacecraft. Yeah, actually, I read that. I don't remember. They yeah, they got it like basically at wholesale. Like somebody had already designed a lot of the legwork for the original dragon, which is interesting. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and quick save here. Let's see if we can land this shuttle. I think we can. It's lighter weight than a normal space shuttle since it doesn't have the big RS-25 main engines in the back. But let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and actually just start our deorbit here in a second. And we're going to try to land. This is always the hardest part is landing back at the Kerbal Space Center. We're going to just have to make a pretty steep. I probably should have not done that at all. But So I'm going to turn around and flip in the space shuttle again. The Buran, sorry, uh, which is a type of space shuttle. It's not STS, the S Space Transportation System, but it is still a space shuttle. All right, so now we're going to slow down so that our lowest point, our periapsis, uh, goes into the atmosphere by a lot. In real life, we would have done this a little bit further back yet, so we could have bled off more speed through the atmosphere, but we're coming in high and tight. Do I plan to build an Ariane 5 or 6 or SLS? And we can do that stuff in like 10 minutes. Those are easy rockets to build. They're just stack them on top and you're done. Um, oh yeah, I can't wait. Uh, Cody Slab mentions that Bezos is egotistical um, as a businessman. But um, his business is obviously running very well. He's doing a great job with Amazon. And he mentions then that he's excited to see his... Blue Origin, um, their plans are huge, and you're exactly right. Blue Origin, um, I think, guys, Blue Origin is not going to go, like, when they start really launching uh, New Glenn, and when they have, when they release plans for their new Armstrong, they're going to be very, very, very exciting, and I can't wait. So now we just are going to use this node planner here to kind of plan about when we need to. This is one of the few mods I have in Kerbal Space Program. And we're going to do it about like that because it's always easier to bleed off speed than to, oh, uh, that was probably too much. All right. So what do I think of companies that want to make tourism flights to space? I think that's phenomenal. I think that's an easy way to get people excited. Um, but it's so far the cost, like Virgin Galactic's cost. Oh, by the way, guys, look at, see that down there? I think that's our debris. I think that's that our lower stage falling into back down into the atmosphere so we're basically falling with that was doing but we're actually gonna land and it's not um, but yeah space tourism like Virgin Galactic's price is two hundred fifty thousand dollars per ticket for like a realistically you only experience not even you don't even quite get to the Carmen line um, I wish they had been a little bit more ambitious personally but um, just a little bit more and they yeah I don't know I don't want to talk badly about them though, because I still love what they're doing. But I wish that they would just, I wish Richard Branson would just really step up and go crazy with it. Hey, if you guys, I'm going to say this right now. If you want to know anything about SpaceX, when they're launching, when Falcon Heavy is going to launch, the best way to do that is either through just going to Reddit often, but my favorite way is by using the SpaceX Now app. It's available on, um, on both iOS and um, and the Google Play Store. It will send you notifications of changes. It'll give you a whole launch manifest and, and they keep that thing up to date. I think they're at like 15,000 users now, so be one of them. Be informed. Don't have to ask the same questions. SpaceX now. Does SpaceX plan a space tourism program? Well, yes. I mean, really... Realistically, yeah, they're anyone that pays them, they'll send to space. I think is pretty much the answer to that question. They they just will do whatever someone is willing to pay for. They're so if someone wants, just like the two people that are supposedly doing a, a cis lunar uh, flight around the moon at some point soon, yeah, they paid and SpaceX has a vehicle capable of doing that. They have the Dragon capsule capable of doing that. Yeah, so they will be doing that. So it's really just a matter of. Yeah, I guess it's a matter of who's willing to pay for what and at what price. We don't know how much it was. If I had money, would I go around the moon? Yes, I would do that. As the ultimate tourist, I say this often that I don't really want to go like do crazy stuff per se. Um, 
I don't want to. I don't want to be the first person on Mars at all. I have zero ambitions to be the first person on Mars. Um, I'd be like the twenty thousandth person on Mars, though. I wouldn't have been, you know, Orville Wright. Like I, even this is funny because this is coming. I used to like race motorcycles. I was a huge daredevil, but now I'm in my thirties, you know. And you gotta, you gotta really slow down and, and like, think about how much more Earth there is to explore before you go blasting yourself off on a dangerous, dangerous, dangerous mission. But eventually, I would sure love to be a, a space tourist. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yoda, I'm glad that you found the same love and appreciation for the SpaceX Now app that I have. So it looks like we are potentially... Oh, one thing I think I would need to do... We need to... I always... We need to do this big time. But I'm going to dis disengage roll there on those. And same with these ones. These ones don't need to have roll. They're also going to receive more control authority. There we go. Now we're bleeding off a little bit more speed. Oh, baby. An interesting fact is the Buran actually could attach... They attach uh, engines to it. So they could actually glide itself, which is crazy. Um, Trond! Uh, you gotta check out my video about Falcon Heavy. I give you my my odds. I, I talk all about it. This is pretty good entry music, actually. This seems appropriate for entry music. It's kind of, you know, it's kind of spicy. It's kind of dangerous. It's kind of on fire. Let's see. Not March. I'm confused about what that means. Uh, what do I think about the Tesla Semi? Good question. I think it is the coolest. I think that's game changing. I'm a little mad because to be honest, I had a, like two years ago, I, I wanted to try to do a startup of, uh, an electric assisted semi trailers because I ran the numbers and was like, this could save a lot of money. Um, especially like around town trucks. If it was like a hybrid almost, you know, and the, only this, the bed of it or the, the trailer portion was... You could retrofit it to any existing semi through like the OBD2 port or something. I was like, that would make tons of sense. And then of course, Tesla just came out and knocked it out of the park and it's gonna be amazing. Ooh, Jack5, Tim, what's my favorite space agency? I mean, I'm, a, I'm an American. So of course, I mean, NASA is the, the ultimate. They have done everything. They're the only, only space agency to be able to land on Mars, so you gotta give them that. Um, we might have to fly this thing around. I'm nervous we're still gonna be too far out. But we're just winging this still. Get it? Winging it? <laughs> Delta wing. Hey yo. Um, have ever heard of Robert Flugfelder or Bob or Science Bob? No, I have not. Um, all right, actually, I'm feeling now like we're going to fall short, so I don't know if I trust this thing. Although we got some decent altitude right now. We're still 30,000 up, but I, we're going to lose a lot of... We have been on fire for a very long time. Jeb, I hope you know what you're doing, bud. Uh, The Russians landed on Mars in pieces had the Russians successfully softly touched down on Mars um, hey thanks Chris Chris says keep up my work and I appreciate that that type of sentiment does not go unnoticed I appreciate all the compliments almost obsessively <laughs> my discord channel knows what I'm talking about I read every comment way too much. Yeah, thanks, Jordan. Tuning says, don't forget to like the stream. I appreciate that. I think that helps visibility. So, John Ellis, in the 70s, they landed successfully. I forgot about that. The Russians have landed on Venus. You're right. <laughs> have, this, have the Russians... We need a definitive answer here because... I can't think of a successful Russian mission to Mars in which the lander, you know, did its actual intended mission. Mars 3, 1971. 
There we go. What's my favorite planet? Earth. Earth is great. You're right, Europeans, yeah, uh, Huygens was amazing. Oh, look at that, we are probably gonna fall a little short. I'm just gonna keep this thing heading prograde now so we don't, okay, okay, what is your, okay. No, 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 no. Wow, what? Excuse me? I did not ask for any of this today. We are in a flat spin, Goose. This is not looking good. What the heck? It's like a tornado hit it all of a sudden. Just because I wanted it to face prograde? Was that really that hard? All right, we're gonna try at least recover this and see if it has any landability. This song's so summery to me. Now it kind of makes me sad and miss summer. I'm, uh, hang on. Don't judge me right now. Okay, we are going to... Stop moving. Why are you moving when I'm following you? Okay, I'm getting sick. <laughs> okay, we at least... Wow, it hates that. It hates me even attempting to do that. Okay, I think it's just because we are... Wow. Wow. Too much control authority, huh? Okay. Nice, Snowmobile 2004, who says they landed all three Falcon Heavy boosters in KSP. That's impressive. Good work. That is no easy feat. Fun fact, you don't head out to sea while in a flat spin. What do you think about Russia's Spaceship Federation? Uh, I don't know if I'm familiar enough with that. Uh, you might have to remind me. Don't worry, we will pull up, but this thing... We don't want to go into a stall with this. As a matter of fact, we do not have anywhere near... I hate, that's what I hate about. Uh, we don't have enough lift, and we can't... We can't move this thing up at all. So that's what we're left with. Well, at least the cargo bay survived. Oh. Well, I don't know what to do about that because in real life, the, the uh, we could make the orbiter a tiny bit smaller. That would help if we only use the double cargo bay and then a single cargo bay instead of two doubles. But I'm actually surprised that it had so little pitchability. We could also move the wings up a little bit, which would allow it to pitch a little bit more. Um, yeah, <laughs> perfect KSP landing. Yeah, you're right. The shuttle did, um, they did curves to bleed off speed. Um, yeah, but we're not going to get that fancy. It just sounds like a easier way to mess up. Any landing you can walk away from. Well, unfortunately, we killed three Kerbals. Uh, or wait, one, two, three, four Kerbals. So I don't think anyone was walking away from that. Um, yes, of course, SpaceX will schedule tons of future launches out of Vandenberg. They still have two more um, Iridium Next satellites, and they're going to start launching their SkySat. Is that what it's called? Their own internet constellation soon. And that, those will all be out of Vandenberg. There'll be a ton of launches from there. Um, advanced nose cones. Yeah, you're right. KSP does not have lift on the main body of the shuttle. Um, <laughs> everyone wants me to, to see my ISS. Let's real quick take a look. Um, we could all, we definitely need to bring the wings up a little bit, and we could probably add another section of wings or something. Try to increase the lift. The S turn uh, is for reentry speed reduction. That's what it's called. S turns. All right. Um, <laughs> Municipal Bond. Get the SpaceX Now app. They will keep you up to date with when Falcon Heavy will launch. <laughs> Paul, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that, Paul. Oh, 
And also, Paul on Discord said it's a flying break, so it was a flying break. How about this, guys? How about um, I will show you the International Space Station. I'm going to take a quick break and, and fill up on water and, and take a bathroom break. I'm going to take a real quick break, then I'll show you the International Space Station here, and then I will try to land and successfully complete a Buran mission. Because why not? It's a good day for this stuff, guys, right? All right, I will be back in just a second. I gotta, I'm gotta. i probably gonna hit the wrong button, but we'll see. Risking it. I think we all dreamt about going to space when we were kids. But when the space shuttle program ended in 2011, I discovered a void in my life. That emptiness led to a newfound obsession with space. A few years later, I wound up bidding on a Russian spacesuit as a joke. When the box arrived at my doorstep, my friends asked, What are you going to do with a spacesuit? The answer? What can't I do with a spacesuit? And that's how Everyday Astronaut was born. Since then, the suit hasn't left my side. It's even gone around the world with me. From remote villages in Myanmar, Rockets and spaceships. Beautiful fields in Norway. I'm fighting a cow to get a picture right now. Here I am on vacation in the beautiful Norway with my beautiful boyfriend. I even proposed to my wife in the suit at Machu Picchu in Peru. These days I work with leaders in the space industry to create fun and inspirational content. I've even been invited to different NASA facilities across the country all for the sake of sharing my excitement with the world. Hey there, it's me, Tim Dodd, the Everyday Astronaut. Now, I'm not sure if you're aware, but NASA is doing some incredible... This is, this is church for us space nerds. This is where Gene Kranz was sitting when people first met him. This is with permission. I still don't know how. I love that I'm standing on something that says urine bags. This thing's gonna fly like a cat in the heat. Whatever that means. That dog's gonna have a sore throat by the end of the day, I'll tell you that. Especially once he tries to explain to his friends that he just saw an astronaut flying majestically through the sky for an hour. This thing has officially become the bane of my existence. Everyday Astronaut's mission is to bring space down to Earth for everyday people. To communicate science through humor and imagination. But most importantly, to spark your curiosity to want to find your place in the cosmos. Join my adventures as I seek to find out why exploring space is important, inspiring, and quite frankly, really, really neat. Show your support by visiting patreon.com slash everyday. Okay. I said I was going to show you the International Space Station. All right, guys, here we go. Also, some exciting news. We have Sebastian. Thank you. You are a Patreon, new Patreon supporter. Lewis, thank you for the Patreon support. Um, another uh, Patreon, a new Patreon, Romaine, thank you. Uh, that's awesome. And yeah, three, is that three or four? I can't count. Uh, three new patrons, guys. Thank you so much to all the new patrons. Um, yeah, I really appreciate that. Uh, yeah, for those of you $10 a month patron members, you can join us in our Discord channel. You can help us script videos and research and make sure fact-checking. It's a lot of fun. We have a good time in there, I think. Um, I'm going to... And also, if you are a Patreon member and you're in here, say hi. Um, can I do a live stream at Kennedy Space Center if I go? Yeah, I go there all the time. Well, not all the time. A couple times a year. Hi from Italy. Take me to space, nerd church. I can do that. <laughs> well, thank you, uh, Osayan. Oh yeah, here's my International Space Station. International Space Station. Did I say it right? Probably. Probably wrong. Probably not right. I don't know. It's kind of like it. Sort of. Sure. It's just sort of a real rough mock-up that I did for one video quick. Nothing too crazy. 
It's good enough. I don't know the names of anything, so don't ask me. I'm really bad about international space stationness. But there you go. I think at one point we docked what was kind of supposed to be like a uh, a starliner to it. Yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> Hi from Boston. There you go. There's the space station. Space. Why can't I say that? It, it sounds like I'm saying it wrong every time. Space station? Space station. Kind of like if you like look at a word too often and it ends up looking wrong. But there we go. Hello from Hawaii from Alex the Great. Hi. Aloha, amigo. Wait. <laughs> Probably don't need to say amigo after that. Um, yeah, there we go. Back to Buran! Sorry, I just screamed that at everybody. Wow, we got people from Poland, Ireland, Russia. Uh, do I? I will be coming to Germany in the future. I need to hang out with some friends there. I've got. It's been too long. It's been a year and a half since I've been to Germany. All right. Hi from Mars. <laughs> you come in peace, Adam. The original Apollo spacesuits were blue, used for training. You're right. And then I think my favorite Apollo suit is the Apollo. Was it 16 and 17 had the red stripes on their uh, lunar excursion suits? Alright. Can you visit your Duna rover? Yeah, probably. What were we working on? Buran, baby. That's right. Hello from North Carolina, Belgium, Latvia, Brazil. Dang! You guys are crazy. <laughs> Come to Poland. Poland's close to Germany, so maybe when I'm in Germany, I'll come hang out in Poland. I do want to. There's so much in the world I need to see. Bulgaria. Hi, guys. Spain. Europe. How about some ESA love? There's, there's so much room in my heart for massive amounts of ESA love. Absolutely. All right, so what do we need to correct? We need to correct. We're going to push these wings up a little bit. That's going to be our first thing. Do you guys think I should risk just trying to... I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to just remove one of these sections. So that the, the whole Buran is a tiny bit smaller. Um, but I'm going to put on a small guy like this. This might be a little bit more accurate as far as, you know, wing to... Or is that not quite right? Uh, I mean, it's not, but it can be, if you know what I'm saying. Another Germany, Luxembourg. I've been to Luxembourg. Well, driven through it. I guess I had lunch there. It's pretty. It's a pretty area. All right. Um, is that too small? Should I go back on that? I just hate that the the Kerbal wings are not the right size for a space shuttle, and it bugs me. And neither are the side boosters aren't the right size. The orange tank isn't the right size. Have I been to Sweden? Yes, I have. I've only ever been to Malmo, though. Switzerland. I've been to Switzerland many times. Sure do love that place. Um. Okay. Uh, have I... Do I like the urban exploration video from the brand site? That was insane. That's been like a dream of mine. My heart was beating the whole time I was watching that video. Um, look it up. Even if I think if you just search Buran right now, it's probably one of the top videos. Is these guys going out to the two abandoned Burans and they just like climb around on it and stuff in broad daylight. It's insane. Um, of course, yep, we got a Saturn V Lego space shuttle or <laughs> Saturn V Lego set. All right, what do you guys think? I want your opinions though. Um, uh, we need to probably, we might have to go back to the two payload bays and I'll just have to make the wings bigger, which is lame. Oh, I'm going to make a huge mess. Oh, that's why. No. Oh yeah, I forgot that there's a four section one to begin with. Whoops. That would have been easier. Okay, so in order to get more lift, we are going to push these wings up. 
It's not more lift, but we want to center um, the lift a little bit so it can rotate easier. We're going to add a few extra delta wings. These We're going to add these guys like we had last time. But we're also maybe going to try to sneak in another set or something. Don't exactly know what we're going to do yet. But we have to do something because we, we need to be able to land this thing. That's kind of rather important. And we did just kill Jeb, so we got to make something worth our time. We did the unspeakable, and we killed Jeb. Uh, uh, Trond, yeah, check the link in the description. Uh, you'll find Ali Ron's Twitter. He is awesome. He makes these incredible models. And yes, they're pretty much on commission at this point. All right, let's also... I might just clip in... Um, some canards or something. This will look really silly. Ooh, interesting angle choice there. This is probably what we're gonna need to have any kind of control authority out of this thing. Good enough. Okay, also, I'm thinking we had plenty of Delta V left over. It's my favorite satellite in space right now. Favorite satellite? I mean, you gotta go with Hubble, right? Is there even is there even another choice right now for... Discovery's kinda cool. Um, yeah, I think it has to go to Hubble. I don't know if there's an option there, to be honest. Um, you said satellite, though, right? Because... I think I like other probes better. Is that the right way, or did I do that upside down? Nope, oh, that was the right way. Okay. And we're just gonna go ahead and... do this. Make sure the crossfeed's off. What are these two engines? Okay, there we go. We now officially decreased our Delta V quite a bit. Ah! Don't do that. I wish I made it so you couldn't click things behind menus, you know? Like, if this is here, don't let me click on it. That makes me mad. I messed up so many things that way. Okay. The wings are too small. They definitely are. And it's not a question. <laughs> um, let's, even though it'll look ugly, let's go ahead and add one more wing streak. And we're just gonna push it down a bit. This will help add a little bit of extra lift. This song sounds kind of Christmassy. Maybe too Christmassy. Okay. Launch a car to space using the rear end. That's not a bad idea. We could do like an old... Um, you're right, Henry. I could have control z -ed. Sometimes that scares me too. Um, I should do like an old Russian communist or Soviet era car. That'd be hilarious. Like in Top Gear. They, uh, they compare a whole bunch of old communist cars and they use a couple different ones from Russia. It was hilarious. Or from the Soviet Union. Okay. What else do we need, guys? What does Delta V Delta V mean from Verse D? Delta V is basically like the range of your car. So think about like how much fuel you have compared to how powerful the engine is and compared to how efficient the engine is. It's kind of the mixture of all those things. So, you know, you can keep adding more and more fuel, but that adds more and more weight. It means you need more and more powerful engines to lift all that fuel. Um, it's just kind of this whole balance of things, so that's why things need to be lightweight, all that stuff. Yep. Okay. Let's let's do this. I think we're ready for launch number two of Buran Baby. All right. Give me a second here.
giraffe str not <laughs> Scott I like I like picturing myself in my spacesuit in the front seat of the Tesla going to Mars that is a grand image so it'd be a good way for I would like to do that if if that was the end of my life okay you had a lotta there we go that's cool space lotta that'd be funny um, so ISP is specific impulse so that's basically like that's think of that as the equivalent of like your miles per gallon or liters per kilo mile wait kil kilometer per liter I've never used that rate before uh, kilometer per liter sure um, think about how efficient the the engine is basically that's as simple as that am I coming down for Falcon Heavy yes I will be watching from the press site I will be a member of the press actually I think I'm gonna be a member of the press as everyday astronaut and not through space flight now which is interesting things are changing here guys all right here we go we ran flight number two let's do this thing hey did Philip James tip again oh there wait Paul there okay okay here we go guys we're gonna do this with the beat Yes, delta V t does just mean exactly that change of velocity. Here we go. Three, two, one, hip, hip. Yes. Yes. So beautiful. Are these AKG headphones? I think so. Yeah. Kind of the industry standard. Studio headphone, yep. Nothing fancy, but they work. Why did I click that? All right. Will there be any new rocket concepts from any other companies or agencies besides SpaceX? There's a lot. Um, there's a lot of rockets on the table right now. Uh, I think the next most exciting one for me is New Glenn. That's Blue Origin's rocket. We talked about that a little bit earlier. That's definitely the most exciting rocket. Um, after, in my opinion, after Falcon Heavy. Um, I think that's more exciting than SLS personally. Sorry, NASA. Um, I love you. <laughs> I love NASA. I love everyone that works there. But I'm honestly, I, I'm just not a huge fan of SLS, unfortunately. What are the prospects of a BFR heavy? Uh, probably not necessary. Uh, Jack5, uh, let me know what you want them for in an email. Uh, they're free to download and listen to, but as far as like, uh, outside of that, I, I typically uh, go, you know, case by case as far as how they're licensed. Ariane 6 will be cool. Um, Keith Watkins. Uh, this is a very Kerbal looking rocket because it's a Soviet rocket. This was the Buran space shuttle. Um, and to me, the, uh, yeah, the Soviets did everything. They started Kerbal to me. They are the definition definition of Kerbal. The website that I got the spacesuit is from a website called rrauction.com. Um, yeah. Eek. This thing does not really like to, what's that called? Fly. It's a little sensitive. I could probably turn on fine controls and that'd help me. It's crazy, actually, that you could have this heavy of a thing slung off the side of it, and it can still fly okay. I can't believe they didn't bring, like, one of these boosters in a little bit more and have these boosters closer to the shuttle. Alright, how about... Uh, let's crash subscribers crafts live stream. I don't know what that means. Uh, what is my number one favorite rocket launch video of all time? Uh, I'm actually going to disagree. Saturn V videos are cool, but honestly, it's hard to find a good archive of like a full cut of a launch and, and high quality film footage because the TV footage was garbage and that's what mostly is easy to find. Um, I think my favorite launch footage from start to end of mission, uh, we'll start if, as far as how it aired live when it happened uh so far is spacex's nrol mission uh, nrol 76. oopsies i'm going the wrong way for the gravity turn oh no i'm not doing this i'm not doing that that's bad this is bad 
This is bad. Oh, I forgot about my boosters. I very much forgot about my boosters. That might be bad. We might need those. We might need that stuff that blew up. Come to find out we don't need any of the stuff that blew up. Okay. We are going for an right, emergency abort. This is terrifying. Oh yeah. Get this off. We will not survive this, I don't think. We are not going to... Can we make it over to the other island, maybe? Uh, almost no way. Let's definitely ditch... We gotta ditch our big ol' heavy thing in here. This would not work in real life because these were only meant to open in the vacuum of space. But we gotta ditch this. Decouple that. And we're gonna pull away from that right now. Don't ruin my vertical st tail stabilizer, please. Okay. Now, let's see if we can flip this thing around. Man, there just must be too much atmosphere still. Okay, we're gonna just point up like this and see how far we can extend our glide range. It won't be very far, but at least now we'll be able to test if, uh, <laughs> at least we can test if this thing has enough lift these days. Oh, hi. Wow, that was a lot of rotation. Thank you. What are we doing here? All right. All right. Yeah, the high-speed footage from the pad is amazing. I agree. Uh, we're just going to try to put this thing down softly in the ocean. It's not going to be the prettiest thing that ever happened. How did all that debris get ahead of me? That's not a good sign. I don't know why I'm still not able to pitch up at all. When there shouldn't even be that much atmosphere right now. Maybe I need... I might need more powerful RCS. Those are weak. Those little monopuff things. Tron, that's exactly what I'm talking about. They say they're uh, impressed with the telephoto shots of the Falcon 9 booster returning. And that's what kills me, is in that NR NROL 76, uh, they just had this continual shot of the first stage booster the whole way back down. It is incredible. It's absolutely amazing. Is the center of lift behind the center of mass? It should be, <laughs> in real life. What do I think Americans' opinion of some other agency lands men on Mars if they were, to, if another agency were to land, uh, other men on the moon uh, or on Mars, I think honestly, I think most Americans would be super stoked. At this point, it's not a space race anymore; it's a humanity. Like, let's do this together. You know, let's let's freaking go to space and do the things and make it happen. Um, I'm sick of a us versus them mentality, just in general. Very sick of that, especially in politics right now. It's insane. But um, like at this point. I'd be so insanely stoked. Whoever does whatever, just do it. Like, I don't work at SpaceX. I don't work at NASA. I don't personally design the flight controller for something that ESA built. I have no personal ties to anything, so I'm just going to be stoked with whoever does whatever, as long as it's awesome. <laughs> like, let's make that the, the attitude. Um, there is an island on my left, but we are, don't have near that cross-range capability. This thing... It's falling like a brick. It's the flying brick. <laughs> Your favorite space video of all time is Buzz Aldrin punching Bart Sebrel in the face. I don't know if that counts as a space video, but that is... I just watched it the other day again. Hey, thank you, Squidward. Uh, this isn't really what I do here, but so thanks for checking in. Uh, you definitely need to watch my videos. Those are what I do mostly. This this live stream stuff is totally for fun. I'll, this is actually gonna probably remain unlisted, so only subscribers can see it uh, after the after we're done. I don't tend to publish these. Maybe I will, because why not? It's content, I guess. But um, but yeah, this isn't really. This is for fun. This is as a promise to my fans. Um, but. Yeah, I, I really have a lot more fun, and we put a lot of the effort into making the, the actual scripted content. <laughs> uh, 
you can see Keith can see a SpaceX uh, launch from Vandenberg. That's awesome. You're watching. Uh, you're watching my stream and went to take out some trash and saw the rocket. That's crazy. That is really cool. Okay, guys. Hey, look at that. It actually has a little bit more glide. That's more pitch than we got out of it the entire last time by a lot. Did I say glide? I meant just a lot more lift. We can pretty easily hold this angle of attack, which is nice. See, the big thing is we definitely got to keep our speed up. And the space shuttle had to do this too. It was pitched at like 40 degrees or something ridiculous. Uh, Zeus, link in descriptions from Ollie Braun. On Twitter, you can find him. We're going to extend landing gear just for fun. And I don't want to pull up until the last second, to be honest. Eek. All right, here we come, guys. Oh, look at that. We actually have a little bit. Okay. They're going full stop now. Uh oh, that was too early. That was too early. I may have just stalled it. Hey, that's going to be survivable, though. They'll survive. They'd hurt really bad, but they'll survive. Their faces all just smashed into all their own helmets. Oh. It would be cool if I were to dock the Burian to the ISS. I could do that. Uh, I should have done no gear, but yeah. Okay, well, we have we have a little bit of more, a little bit of more, a little more time. I, I want to get one successful mission out of the way. I think this thing can land. I think it has the right amount of lift now. We at least got that out there. Uh, yeah, we got to keep our speed up. That's definitely a key. We're going to go ahead and revert this flight to launch. I think the big thing is I accidentally let those boosters totally burn out. Maybe here's a monument crap. Buran was the name of the Russian space shuttle, yes. Didn't want to use those parachutes anyway. Actually, we shouldn't, we should not have used those parachutes are not meant to slow down before you land. They're to keep you from going off the end of the runway. Um, if you were to use those, you don't want to bleed off speed in the space shuttle because it needs all the speed it can get to, to use that uh, horizontal speed as lift on those stubby little tiny wings. So, yep. All right. Was one of them named Sully. Here we go. Three, two, one, hip hip. We're not gonna make any changes to the vehicle. I think the vehicle's fine. But we just have to, I have to do better as a, as a human. And then I'd say once we do this, um, I'm gonna quick save it when we get to booster step and then we're gonna try to land one of the boosters still. Um, any more messenger probes? I f uh, Ian, the reason that boosters did not separate on burnout is because I forgot. That's why. <laughs> uh, the game's pretty not smooth, we'll put it that way. At the Especially at the beginning of the launch, it's it's definitely not very smooth um, with all the smoke and stuff. It was James Cameron and Bill Nye that approached Elon about going, getting sent to the moon. Your guess? I can see James Cameron. I don't think Bill Nye. I don't think Bill Nye is that risky. Um, I don't think Bill Nye has the money. I don't think James Cameron has. I. It's got to be literally a billionaire that has the kind of money to, you know, or very high million. Someone very close to the Trace, Trace Comas Club, Trace Comas, uh, the three com, the three coma club from uh, uh, Silicon Valley. Yeah, you got to be really, really, really rich to be able to afford. Even SpaceX is, it's probably gonna be forty million a seat to be able to do something like that. Um. Yeah, De uh, yeah, Daniel. Yes, I. We are still planning to reuse these side boosters and recover them. That's what this is built for. Uh, uh, 
Wait, why is someone surprised that it's flying? Of course it's flying! We did it, we're doing a later gravity turn so we have a better chance of doing a return to launch site. Here's the thing, if this, if this were Russia, uh, or if they were launching from Kazakhstan, they would land these things on ground and they could land them down range because they just launch over the middle of nowhere. And they don't worry about where the boosters come down, so we could do that. Why don't I like the SLS? Um, I like SLS. Um, I do, don't get me wrong. But, it's already cost more money to develop the SLS than SpaceX has spent pretty much in their entire existence. Um, and any other private company. I just think the money can be much better spent elsewise. Why did that just rotate? Same thing's gonna happen, huh? Why is it rotating like crazy? Well, we're still gonna try to salvage this mission. It's a little, we had a little bit of a wing strike, not ideal. It was weird that it rotated for a second. I think like the controls freak out for a second. Yeah, SLS just honestly is not that powerful. It's it's expendable, and to me, it's just a very it's it's unfortunate because they tried to reuse parts from the space shuttle, and it ended up being it's another time where they just go, well, we got this on the, and it wasn't necessarily NASA's choice, guys. Don't get me wrong, it's not these engineers. Unfortunately, Cong some someone in Congress at some point was probably like, hey, remember that space shuttle that we used to have? Don't we have like spare parts lying around? Could you guys like just build a rocket out of that? And that's kind of what SLS is, unfortunately. Um, it's just not, you don't design a rocket based on, wow, this is going very poorly. You don't design a rocket based on what spare parts you have. That's just a bad way to live. So this is the problem here, guys, is that we don't have... Um, now with this heavy payload in here, it's much too off... off uh, the thrust is way too off-centered. Maybe I can lower... these thrusters. And this thruster. That'll help. Alright, we're gonna eke this thing into orbit still, one way or another, guys. I'm just gonna try to hold prograde on this. That's about the only thing I can do at this point. There we go. There we go. We're gonna get this thing into orbit. One way or another. Did I support the Constellation before it got cancelled? Honestly, I wasn't even a big enough space fan to know what Constellation was when it uh, was a program. I just didn't care. I didn't know. I was ill-informed. Why does the ISS fall down from orbit when something docks to it? Isn't more weight so it should get off orbit? Down to orbit? I don't quite understand the question. Hey, this is going to be about right for Delta V, though. Look at that. Look at that. That's perfect. Huh, we're in a fresh orbit. Although, this booster's pretty much gonna stay in space for a while. <laughs> Cause it's, that's about right though. Okay, let's open up these payload bays. What is ULA uh, response to the threats SpaceX and Space Heavy? Um, they still, I hate to say this because I actually really like their CEO. Uh, he's great, Tori Bruno. Uh, and I like the company, but they are in denial. That's honestly, I think that's what it is. They just say, no, no, we're fine, we're fine. We have some big plans. And actually, you should check out the, the interview with Tori Bruno. Um, on the TMRO show on YouTube, TMRO, youtube.com slash TMRO. It was probably like last August or September or something, or maybe earlier than that. Tori Bruno was on there. Hearing him talk about their plans makes a lot of sense, actually. Um, and he's very passionate. He's very smart. I really like the guy. But man, honestly, they just need, I think he just needs to step up and say, okay, we're going to get absolutely squeezed out of this one if we don't create fully reusable or significantly reusable rockets. 
and their timelines are very unambitious, we'll put it that way. Okay, so we're gonna get up to the highest point again, we're gonna deploy our payload, or we're gonna get into orbit, deploy our payload. Okay. All right, um... <laughs> uh, I do not skydive. That was a friend of mine that has his parachutes. Very, very, uh, very, what's that called? Perceptive? Perceivingness of you? Can't think of the word. You guys know what I'm talking about. Very good of your eyeballs and your brain. Uh, what I use to edit your videos, I am a uh, Premiere guy, but I'm really debating going to uh, whatchamacallit, Final Cut, because this Premiere is annoying, its workflow is annoying, and I hear that Final Cut works amazingly well, um, would work amazingly well on my machine. Hey there, Andrew! Luke Epley, their timelines are realistic, he's talking about ULA, we've been spoiled by Elon time. They are realistic, but they are not ambitious. I'd rather a company really genuinely think they can get something done in a year and a half and then have it take eight years than have someone say, eh, it'll be eight years. Like eight years before you're you're reusing those engines? You know, the, the first stage of the uh, I'm bl Vulcan rocket, uh, the engines, the two, whatever they end up being, whether it's Aerojet, Rocketdyne, whatever they end up making, or BE-4 engines, their, their plan is to detach the engines from the, the booster stage, uh, have like a re-entry inflatable heat shield, and then paraglide and be picked up by a, uh, with a parachute basically, picked up by a, a helicopter. And, um, observative, there we go, thank you, Deadly Monkey. Um, you know, and the thing is with ULA, um, yeah, I don't know, that's, it, it's like, just design that in the, fi in the from the get-go, get it going, why? I don't know. SpaceX, we're just, I'm, I'm spoiled that SpaceX makes changes every single rocket and they really iterate things quickly. Um, yeah. Uh, if I could add one book about US, about spaceflight to the US curriculum. Oh God, I don't honestly know because I am not much of a book reader. Um, well, I have read like Mission to Mars, um, by Buzz Aldrin. That's a good, that's good. That's a very good book. Um, Elon Musk's book is great. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's a good question. All right, guys, let's land this. Let's land this pig, and then Caleb. Thank you so much, Caleb. You gotta go. Uh, thanks for doing a great job reading, answering comments, including me in tomorrow and SpaceX now. And, oh, and introducing you to tomorrow, SpaceX now, and satisfying con- Thank you! That means a lot. Thank you, Caleb. Everyone say bye to Caleb, and thank you. Have a good one. Thanks for hanging out. But we have a Buranda land! I also don't want to run into whatever that is. Alright. Forever Young by, by John Young. I would like to read that. What time is it in the United States? It, for me, Central is 429. What happened to the side boosters? Are they gone? Yes, we'll have to do another launch if we actually want to try to recover one of those. All right. Uh, there is no real new ISS. There will be, there's kind of plans, soft plans for like a cis lunar orbiting space station, space station, gosh. I'm gonna have to fix that. Uh, my inability to say that, that is. Um, hang on. I gotta kinda look at this for a second. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. There's nothing very solid yet. Um, but yeah, I would be super into a, either a lunar orbiting. What happened last time? Oh yeah, we fell like a brick. Well, let's see if this fixes it. Um, some kind of lunar, definitely some kind of lunar uh, space station. Um, Versity, actually, this is about what, the, the, in real life, the Space Shuttle and the Buran had very weak, uh, orbital maneuvering engines. They don't need to be very powerful because you're just, you 
you kind of got all day to do your slow maneuvers. Um, they realistically, they probably need to be about twice as powerful to be realistic, but hey. Okay. Don't point pro grade. I won't point entirely pro grade, but I'm going to point kind of pro grade. I'm going to give these babies the beans if I can get to them. Come on. Where are you? I want to give you the beans. There. I want you to have the beans. Take the beans. And you two big things, you're also getting the beans. I hope you do not mind. Um, that's true, uh, John had a good idea about reusing some other space things. Alright. Will SpaceX ever become a part government company? Mm, mm, I mean... No company is really a part government company. You can get government contracts, and they've got government contracts for missions before. Um, but yeah, they aren't like, a, like I would say Northrop Grumman and like Orbital ATK, who's owned by Northrop Grumman, and even parts of Lockheed Martin and stuff are pretty much, on, they only exist because of the government, um, yet they're still private companies, so it's, yeah. Can I tell us what's in the bottle? It is water. If it was anything else, I'd get, be getting continually much worse at Kerbal Space Program. And I would say I'm getting better at Kerbal Space Program. So it's just straight up water. Gotta stay hydrated, guys. Um, King Nico, of course, SpaceX could do that, but that'd be a huge waste of that booster. That booster could lift a lot of weight, a lot further away than 100 miles, 100 kilometers up um, at zero velocity. So, I mean, they could do something where they, like, use just the first stage booster, put a giant, massive, 100-person, like, capsule thing that lands under parachutes um, or propulsively or something just for quick tourist hops. But, it, I don't know. It's not meant for that. It's it's meant for, or it's an orbital booster. It's an orbital vehicle. Yeah. I think that's kind of how I'm going to answer that one. Who would I rather share a beer with? Elon Musk, Chris Hadfield, or Buzz Aldrin? That's actually a hard question to answer. Uh, I almost gave Buzz Aldrin a heart attack once um, when I shook his hand because it was 6.30 a.m. Uh, after a, the BFR announcement last year in Guadalajara, Mexico. I was leaving, uh, you know, a long night of, it was an exciting night, we'll put it that way. Good night of having fun with your friends uh, afterwards. and. Uh, let's just say Mexico flows a certain liquid very well. Um, we were having a lot of fun, so I was very tired in the morning. And um, I was carrying way too much gear, because I always carry like literally 30 pounds worth of photography gear. Uh, and I was had to shoot a wedding in California after that, so I was totally geared up. Absolutely like hunkered down, weighted up on the plane, and it's 6.30, I'm tired. I turn the corner to board the plane, and just out of the corner of my eye, BUZZ! And I like screamed in his face because he's like right next to me. Uh, yeah. And then as soon as I realized, oh, it's yeah, whoop, like, hello, a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Aldrin. It's a it's a huge honor. And I shook his hand and yeah, that's my one experience with Buzz Aldrin. Crap, almost killing him. I buzzed the buzz. Um, yeah, buzz. But uh, yeah, other than that, I don't remember. What, uh, I would love to. Ha I think Chris Haddonfield Haddonfield and I would would. Get along great. He's commented on my work before. Um, I at the same time though, if I I would want to be in a hangout situation with Elon Musk. So like like you said, having a beer with someone. I think if Elon could turn off from work and you could just like pick his brain and hang out and have fun, I think that would be the Elon Musk I'd want to hang out with. But yeah, it's oh, I think that's a very difficult Elon Musk for anyone to get to because he's an insanely busy human being, and I don't think he. Oftentimes, just has time to hang out and uh, besides when he has Ambien and whiskey, I think, <laughs> uh, or Ambien and wine. But yeah, I, I don't know. Do I know Walter? Yes, I absolutely know Walter. Walter, uh, yes, Walter's who got me into spaceflight photography. 
Uh, this is Walter Scriptunis we're talking about here. Um, he is a phenomenal spaceflight photographer. He's the reason I got into spaceflight photography because I was coming down to a launch and I was shooting for a, a company here in Iowa that, that makes parts for, um, actually for SpaceX too. They're a subcontractor that makes big moving parts, big moving platform parts to move parts of rockets around. And uh, yeah, I was going down to, to shoot with them uh, as their company went down to watch CRS-3 in 2014. And I was like, I'm gonna work on getting press credentials. So I reached out to Spaceflight Now and I found Walter Scriptunis and he got me in touch with people. He is awesome and he's a great guy. Uh, we, we saw OCO2 together in California. Yeah. Beyonce or Rihanna? Beyonce. Absolutely. That's cool, Trond. That's awesome. Which uh, MOVA globe is that closest to me? That is Earth! It goes in order for me. Uh, it goes Earth, uh, Moon, Mars, as far as like, you know, space flight kind of. From closest to furthest. I'm gonna have to bleed off more speed than this, I think. I'm nervous I'm getting a little willy nilly here. And I feel like this, I feel like for whatever reason, this thing is extra spicy all the time and is on fire way more than normal. Robbie, we've just answered that. It's water. Water's in the water bottle. What else would you put in a water bottle? Besides that, you gotta stay hydrated, guys. It's 2018, folks. Stop drinking all that sugary stuff and get some water in you and feel great. That's crazy, Trond. You're nuts. I don't know if I want my spacesuit to have to go through that trauma of... A base jump. That's insane, but that's also awesome. That's true. I also I also like coffee. Coffee's a, a big part of my life. <laughs> Did I run out of monoprop? No, I didn't. Almost have though. I'm nervous that we are not going to slow down enough. We're gonna have to do a figure eight and come back around. Yeah, I am going to dive down. Boy, RCS is doing a lot. This is not recommended because it's not where the heat shields are. Alright. We need this to work. I don't think we have enough cross range to go for the island, but that would be another option. But I think we can do this. Come on, baby. Feels like we're drifting. Just drifter Reno. It's rendering that back flame really weird. It's kind of annoying me. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. This one's going down in the drink again, I think. Am I using any other mods other than Kerr? Uh, I have one more mod that like shows your trajectory. This one, trajectory. Yeah, that's funny. Uh, but yeah, that's it. I I only want I want all the parts to be stock, unless I'm doing something very particular. Uh, yeah, just so that if anyone else ever wants to try to build the same thing, they can. I find it more challenging to play Kerbal Space Program stock because you have to. I don't know. I think it's cool. I do wish they had more stock options. Again, I really wish they had a five meter fairing. Or five meter, uh, everything. That'd make my life so much easier and better. All right, we're gonna go for the island. I don't think we have that kind of cross range though. As a matter of fact, I know we won't. So we're just gonna crash awkwardly close to the island. I don't think we're close enough to that coastline either. Uh, doesn't KSP feel repetitive? I've been playing for four years. Wait, five meter parts are coming? Are you serious? I didn't know that. How soon is that coming out? It's coming. I would love to know about that. Someone hit me up more with five meter parts from Kerbal. That would be incredible. 
Zuma's on Friday, not tomorrow. I really, uh, Paul, I appreciate your sentiment, but I don't think we're going to make it. Just too much of a falling brick. If anything, I should be putting extra, um, extra things inside here, like extra secret wings and lifting body panels and stuff. Maybe these will act as wings. More lift. It's probably just adding extra drag. Dang it. Uh, you're right. UTC. It might be. 41, no, it's it's Friday, so if anything, that would be Saturday, UTC time. Of course, there'll be a live stream, but it uh, won't probably show this, the payload, fairing separation, or second stage, or anything. I'm not even paying attention to this, because I just feel hopeless. It's going to be so awkwardly close to landing. What is Zuma? Zuma is a secret satellite for the U.S. government or something, we think. We don't even know because no space, there's no agencies that have actually taken, they haven't even said, like, hey, that's us. All right, well, we're going to ditch it here by the island. At least they can swim easily. All right, 100 meters to go. I'm gonna pitch up now. Oh god. That seemed reasonable. No parts broke, right? A reasonable splashdown. We got a submarine now. Oh, we did break the nose cone. We broke the nose cone. Everyone died. Oh, I was pulling up. That was full up on that Lego. Lego women. Lego women man. Wan. Lego Wan Wan. <laughs> I don't like all these land. Okay, I'm I'm giving up on the Buran portion for today. We're gonna recover those boosters quick. Let's revert this baby to launch. I just want to land one booster, and then I think I got to be done for the day. We've been at this for three and a half hours. Build a jet boat, meh. Maybe someday. I promise I'll try to do more live streaming this year than I did last year. All right, here we go. Um, three, two, one, hip hip, and lag. Hey, Tron, you should absolutely try to make it out to Falcon Heavy. Uh, we'll, a lot of us will probably be at the press site, which you have to have sorted out for a long time, but still, you'll see a great view from from Cocoa Beach area, from the Jetty Parkway. It's still an awesome view. Thank you, Epic Epic the Gamer. Ben Visco. <laughs> ben Visco said he's just realized he's not subbed. What am I doing? And hey, what are you doing? Thank, and thank you for realizing that you are not subbed and for hopefully now subbing. Oh, man. Have I heard of Olaf Vipser Free Flight Astronaut Project? Uh, I don't... I'm not familiar with that, I don't think. But I stream the start of Falcon Heavy. I will stream Falcon Heavy, actually. I plan to take my laptop out and do a portable stream setup with my camera still and everything and a uh, pretty decent lens on it. And I'll be... I'll be focusing less on... I'll probably be half-talking... You guys see me like behind the scenes working on a video about Falcon Heavy while I stream. Uh, I might have to do takes over and over again, so you guys might have to deal with that a little bit. Um, but as, at the same time, at least I'll be able to ask or answer questions in, in between. You'll see a live shot of Falcon Heavy. Um, perhaps I'll try to see if I can integrate SpaceX's live stream, but it might be cool if we have both of ours up at the same time. Um, who knows? And worst goes to worst, you can always watch it later. Dang, school starts the next day. Alright. I'm 
Okay, sorry. An epic, epic gamer. I remember the dude doing that small rocket with CubeSats. That's awesome. Um, yeah, which rocket, though? You saw me talk about Delta Five in many videos. Do I have to explain? Or Delta, sorry. <laughs> I was thinking about Delta Twos and Delta... Yeah, I see what you're saying. Uh, Delta V, we will do, a, I will do an in-depth video about Delta, Delta V specific space terms, and I'll probably be under the guise of Beginner's Guide to, to Space. Um, Alright, we're gonna do this real quick. And we're just gonna fly one of these guys. Sure. You look fun. I probably could've let this guy keep going, huh? Even if it's not gonna actually keep going. Give me a second here, guys. I'll fix this. This is just for fun. All right, Booster, you are go for land. Uh, interesting that it chose to. Okay. 600 meters per second. Let's see. How much it's going to take to get us back over land? It looks like it's going to take that much. Okay. I'm nervous we're going to run out of fuel on this thing again, though. Stefan, thank you. No, thank you, Stefan. Stefan. I really appreciate that. All right. Now we're going to hold this. Um, when can we... Expect a Falcon Heavy launch date. Jeff, for the millionth time today, we are... the. You can expect it... At, after, actually, that is a slightly different question. Not that you didn't ask when is Falcon Heavy. You asked when do we expect... Um, yeah, that's a fair question. After Static Fire. Once they complete their Static Fire, um, then we'll know... We'll have a lot more solid evidence of, a, of when exactly they're going to launch. It could... Guys... It could happen, like, in a week. In, like, a week from Friday or something. There's a chance they static fired on Saturday. They say we're good to go. Our net is... We're going for Wednesday. And then I will have to leave on Monday and get my butt down to Florida. So, yeah. Well, thank you, Trond. I appreciate that. Have a good night. Okay. Well... I don't think we can land this thing. We do not have enough Delta V. Let's go ahead and... Oopsies. Let's go ahead and give it infinite prop. I do want to see if we can land this thing, though. Okay, it's sloppy. It's sloppy and it's going the wrong way. Oh god. Oh yeah. What's happening here? I'm very confused. 90, no. There we go. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Alright, so this isn't exactly the best booster in the world. But, so what? Oh, oh, interesting. Interesting choice of maneuvering. It just is too tail heavy still. Yeah, we're gonna have to put if anything, what we'll have to do... Hang on. Sorry, I'm like super concentrating right now. This thing is not easy to fly. Very not easy to fly. Okay, what was I saying? Um, something about stuff. What do I do for a day job? This is kind of it. I'm full-time with videos, even though it's still not full-time income. <laughs> uh, 
But you'll see, there'll be some exciting stuff coming out in 2018 that'll be more obvious what my day job is, I guess. Um, but this for, technically this is it, I guess. Ish. Kind of. Kind of this. Sorry, I'm really just trying to get it over land right now. This is, this thing is not liking anything I'm throwing at it. I'm not throwing any, I'm not liking anything it's throwing at me. It's kind of a jerk. Again, flying sausage is not recommended. Okay. Settle down. We are over land. Okay. We can do this. Granted, we've been using four hours of fuel, basically. All right. How are we doing in here? Let's get this thing coming down, huh? And then I can figure out which vector of velocity to bleed off. Aha. This vector of velocity I need to bleed off. I'm going to go ahead and cut one of those engines like we designed. Push a little bit forward. Don't worry, this is on purpose. This is on purpose. I know it doesn't look good, but it is on purpose. Oh, God. All right. Delicate balance here we've got with the old flying sausage. Ta-da! After four hours of attempting to fly, it flew and landed ish. Oh, yeah. Oh. Not a big fan of that. That was ridiculous. Oh. Now try without cheats. We could. I forgot to do a quick save there so we could have practiced the booster return. Um, oh well. Well, I kind of made it. It was not pretty and it required a lot of extra fuel. And we also realized that, holy cow, do we need about 40 more um, SAS or RCS thrusters underneath the engines to help counteract that. Daryl, if your chat's flashing, I believe it's on your browser, probably. Um, my favorite mod is Kerbal Re Reduction Engineer. Oh, somebody did want me to move that. I apologize. I didn't even do that forever ago that you wanted that. Which one is it? This guy? Sure. Um, there we go. Um, that's my favorite mod because it gives me the readouts that Kerbal should have to begin with. It's very hard to play. Um, so, I think what we're going to do is we're going to recover this guy. We're going to commit to that. Uh, I think I have to go, guys. I can't talk this long in life. That's almost four hours of talking. Um, yeah, it's Kerbal Engineering Redux. Engineer Redux. So, yeah. Kerbal Engineer Redux. There you go. All right, guys. Well, um... I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop over here to selfie cam. Hey, hi, it's me, Tim Dodd, the Everyday Astronaut. Um, I just want to say thank you, guys. Really, I had a lot of fun. I hope that whoever was the one that told me I needed to do Buran, I hope at some point you saw me fail today. Um, I hope that you guys had fun watching this. There will be a lot more live streams. This was very encouraging seeing how many people wanted to watch a live stream. Um, hi, Autumn. Autumn Sylvia, I assume. Um, I, uh, yeah, big fan of you guys hanging out. You guys, I love that everyone's been positive, friendly, uh, asking good questions. Uh, reminder, though, if you want to keep up to date on Falcon Heavy, the best way to do that is by Reddit and or SpaceX Now uh, app on your phone. Definitely get that. It'll update you with literally every news change that we get. Follow SpaceX on Twitter. That's another big one. Follow Elon Musk on Twitter. Um, yeah, for me though, I want to thank all of our new Patreon supporters. Uh, huge, huge thank you to you guys. Huge thanks to all the previous Patreon supporters. 
uh, all are our hundred and like we have like 183 or 184 something Patreons now. When we get to 200 Patreon supporters, guys, we will be giving away a piece of space shuttle Discovery that has flown. See that little oh, oh there, a little bit of a uh, that's titanium from space shuttle Discovery. Um, that's flown in space at 200 Patreon supporters. We will be giving that away again at 300 and again at 400. So, um, yeah. So if you want a chance to win that the way I, I, we weight it. So like if you donate a dollar a month, you basically get a dollar in the hat, $10 a month, you get $10 in the hat. Um, yeah. So if you want a, a chance to win a piece of flown spatial discovery, you know what to do. You know what to do. Go to patreon.com slash everyday astronaut. Check that out. Um, but yeah, other than that guys, um, yeah, there we go. Allison, um, I appreciate you guys. And again, uh, the, I always need to mention this. These are Ollie Bronze Falcon Heavy models. Stay tuned for lots of good videos. We have an awesome video coming up. Um, I'm really excited about this upcoming one. It's going to be amazing. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe, tell a friend. If you have friends wanting answers to SpaceX questions, literally, I have a video about almost every beginner topic and I'll have a lot more coming. And not even beginner topics, but also kind of expert topics as well. So make sure you check those out, share them with a friend. Um, yeah, I really appreciate you guys. This has been great. Interesting. Well, bye guys. <laughs> Hopefully you see something. I think we all dreamt about going to space when we were kids. But when the space shuttle program ended in 2011, I discovered a void in my life. That emptiness led to a newfound obsession with space. A few years later, I wound up bidding on a Russian spacesuit as a joke. When the box arrived at my doorstep, my friends asked, what are you gonna do with a spacesuit? The answer, what can't I do with a spacesuit? That's how Everyday Astronaut was born. Since then, the suit hasn't left my side. It's even gone around the world with me. From remote villages in Myanmar, rockets and spaceships. Beautiful fields in Norway. I'm fighting a cow to get a picture right now. Here I am on vacation in the beautiful Norway with my beautiful boyfriend. I even proposed to my wife in the suit at Machu Picchu, Peru. These days I work with leaders in the space industry to create fun and inspirational content. I've even been invited to different NASA facilities across the country all for the sake of sharing my excitement with the world. Hey there, it's me, Tim Dodd, the Everyday Astronaut. Now, I'm not sure if you're aware, but NASA is doing some incredible... This is, this is church for us space nerds. This is where Gene Kranz was sitting when people first met him. This is with permission. I still don't know how. I love that I'm standing on something that says urine bags. This thing's gonna fly like a cat in the heat. Whatever that means. That dog's gonna have a sore throat by the end of the day, I'll tell you that. Especially once he tries to explain to his friends that he just saw an astronaut flying majestically through the sky for an hour. This thing has officially become the bane of my existence. Everyday Astronaut's mission is to bring space down to Earth for everyday people. To communicate science through humor and imagination. But most importantly, to spark your curiosity, to want to find your place in the cosmos. Join my adventures as I seek to find out why exploring space is important, inspiring, and quite frankly, really, really neat. Show your support by visiting patreon.com slash everydayastronaut.